Yo, yo, yo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, yo. What's up? <laughs> All right, let me, let me fix my... um. There it is. Boo! Boo! There it is. Boo! Played two extra songs just to boo. Boo! Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Get off the stage, boo! Oh, my God. Uh, I was banned for ten whole minutes for giving you a flower. Wait, really? Really? How? Just start the racked already. Jesus, man. Good lord. Minus, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Oh, 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 my eyes! Yeah, I saw that. So there's a bunch of stuff that we can rack to, man. Um, I want to paint today, guys. I want to paint today. Um, we are going to paint. We are going to paint. Boom, the great unclean one. We're going to do this one. We're going to do this one right here. This one. Fat fuck. Jules. Yeah, this is Defrag. You know, they came out with a new uh, new uh, song. It's fucking awesome. Karen. Yeah. Uh we're gonna we're gonna do that today, boys. We're not gonna finish it today though. We're gonna spread it up to two or three uh two or three two or three streams. Build and paint wig. <sighs> dude, it just never gets old, does it, bro? It never gets old, dude. I want to take a second to uh, to admire the quality of the chat. Spread this. <laughs> Spread this. <laughs> La map. Uh, Mr. Vortex, when are you going to paint Lil Zames on stream? Hmm. I've heard a lot of good things about um, Vallejo. I've heard a lot of good things. Well, well, well. <laughs> Answer the chatter. Dude, I don't, I'm not painting little zames on stream, bro. Mm, I don't think I'm going to try throwing in Liberty, man. Um, the reason why, because it's a means to an end. Wait, you redeemed a sub? Wait, but you're subbed, Cam. You're subbed. Did you want the sub to go to someone else? Artistic nudity is allowed. I don't think so. Nah, so the reason why I'm not um the reason why I'm not playing uh Throne and Liberty is because like it's just gonna be um it's just gonna be Oh, you know what? If you put it in and you were already subbed, then I rejected it and gave your points back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably what happened. Yeah, because I can't actually extend the sub if you already subbed. At least I don't think I can. If, if for whatever reason you don't have your points back, just remind me when it drops and I'll gift it to you. But you should have your points back.
Was there a new... Um, Oh. Dude, I'm so excited about this, man. Uh... Wait, new react? Wait, new react? Wait, new re <sighs> I don't get it, man. Like, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Like, why is that funny? Oh, wait, is it 6K? 6K? <laughs> Uh, yo, Soul, thank you for the resub, man. Nine months. Alexandra with the 37 months. Thank you guys for the resubs. Um, so, uh, we got some stuff to react to today, guys. Here, I'll let, here, I'll let you pick. Um, so we're building, we're building this today. We're building this today, and I thought it was appropriate that we look up some lore on these greater demons. So I kind of wanted to do that. But if you guys don't want to, we can we can like watch something else. But this guy seemed like he had a pretty good video. <clears throat> uh, Wes Hammer. Um, we also have. Um, there's also like a new chilling scares, a new nuke stop five. Uh, bruh, you look like a thumb. Yeah, so basically like law or throne and liberty, I feel like it's just going to be another like 6 month lifespan. And normally like I I wouldn't care about that normally, but the problem is is that I've really been into painting. And I really haven't wanted to play any games. Now I actually got his channel pulled up too. Does Luton have like a uh Does Luton have a um a greater demon lore video could maybe watch, dude. Uh, yeah, let's see. No, I don't think so. Maybe greater demon. Uh, it's going to be a new world 2.0 situation for throne and liberty. Check this Warhammer story. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I we've already watched this. I'm pretty sure we have. We watched it the other day. Um Yo Eva, thank you for the resub. Six months, half a year. Thanks a lot. Start break start painting, bruh. I ain't interested in the yap, yap, yap. <laughs> okay all right guys all right i'm just gonna let you guys know i'm just gonna let you guys know something right right now okay wait Wes hammer is great okay so then yeah let's just watch this one man let's just watch this one um wait, what? by now it should what is it loading okay um so uh wait what was like oh yeah oh yeah so here's what i want to say guys <laughs> Here's what I want to say, okay? All right. So, uh today was supposed to be fit, was supposed to be 70:30 that I wasn't going to stream. But I got I went to bed early last night and I woke up early as fuck. I woke up at like 8:30, man. Anyway, so I woke up I already went to the gym. Which was really rough, by the way. But um, I worked the titties. And dude, by the end of my workout, man, I needed a fucking brawl. Let me tell you, dude. Okay. 
Anyway. So. Proof. Proof. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't take a picture. I guess I could have. Show. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have, but. But, um. <laughs> God damn it. Take your shirt off. Holy shit. Um. Anyway. So I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm a little, I'm a little tired today. Okay. Just, just a little bit. So if I'm not as quick on the comebacks or something, you know, that's why I'm just letting you guys know. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. I'm not, no, I'm not grumpy. I'm, I'm like a little exhausted. Okay. But don't worry. I, I got extra caffeine here. <sighs> I got extra caffeine. I'm going to try to stream today for around four or five hours. We're not going to finish the, we're, we're, we're not going to finish the, um, the model today, but we'll, I guess my goal is to get like, you know, um, we're going to build it, prime it, maybe get a base coat and then a couple other stuff, but we still got to build it, man. I, I haven't even, look, I haven't even opened it, man. It's got the seal on it. You guys see the seal? I haven't even opened it. All right. Prime this. <sighs> How do you suggest I do that? You want me to spray primer on your butt? You want me to do that? Spray some primer on your butt? How about How about we react to this? Why don't we watch this? It's a good it's a good it's a good react 34 34 minutes. We'll react to this. And then we'll start building. Resubs, Mr. Vanity. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, my bad. My bad. Rob, thank you very much for the resub. Thank you so much for the resub. I apologize that I missed it. You didn't wait even five minutes to remind me that I missed it. Okay, thank you for the resub. <laughs> 19 months. Thanks a lot, man. Noctis, why is six afraid of seven? Why, buh? Because, uh, 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 hold on, give me a, because, uh, eight is scary. I don't know. <laughs> eight is scary. <laughs> no, wrong. That's not why. FB Pong, holy <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Seven, eight, nine. I knew it was something stupid like that. Uh, you shared you are in a weakened state willingly, brother. Why? Wait, what? No, I'm just saying. I'm a. <laughs> Why do you have to word it like that? A weakened state, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm a little tired from exercising today. Yeah, my lighting changed up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do a spooky stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spooky stream today. Or, I mean, uh, soon. Like on October. Closer to Halloween. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I still have the fucking pumpkin border. I mean, I might still have it. Hold on. Uh, hmm. I don't, I don't think I have it. Um.
Maybe it's in green screen. Nah. Background. Hmm. Man, I could give Chad a background instead of the X. Hmm. Um, no, nah, I don't have it. I guess I'd have to Google it. Yeah, I guess I'd have to Google it. Okay, whatever. Pumpkin border. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Free. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, that's like sideways. We need, or that's like vertical. We need one sideways. Um, pumpkin border. <laughs> Ooh, what about this one, man? Oh, never mind. No, we need a free one. This isn't a free website. Um, what kind of border you guys want? Yo, Bethendel, thank you for the 15 months. Hell yeah, brother. Thanks a lot for the 15 months. Cheaping out on us. What? Dude. Nah, but the vertical one won't, won't work because the pumpkins are turned weird. Uh, dude, these borders. Dude, these aren't even... Oh, look. What about this one, man? What about this one? Yeah, what about this one? Pumpkin ass head, bottom left. Oh, sh dude, just get the fuck out of here, man. Who said that? Pumpkin ass head. Get the fuck. Fucking dumbass chattered. Cooked his ass. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Pumpkin border images. So I could get this one and turn it sideways, but it'd be it'd be kind of jank. Oh, what about this one? What about if I put in hol free Halloween? Free Halloween border. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. Creepy crawlers. Oh, this one's sick, bro. This one's sick, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, this one's sick. Save image. Save image. Okay. All right, let me try it. Let me try it. Uh, image desktop. Uh, let 
All this is cool, dude. All oh, this is perfect, bro. It's perfect. That's literally perfect. Yo, thanks a lot, Ryan. This is this is absolutely perfect. Look at that, dude. That's fucking perfect. There. Excellent Halloween spirit, Malish. Yeah. What do you mean scale it properly? It is scaled. That looks good. I'll clap for that. That looks good. Reminder, this was free and not premium pumpkins. Oh, get the, shut the fuck up, dude. You're, you're being, no, yo, you know, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. You know, your name's very appropriate, antsy, because that's exactly what you are. Ants at a picnic. Okay. You're just a fucking Debbie Downer. All right, let's watch this. Boo is banning people for speaking opinion and truth. Boo, get off the stage. Maybe instead of a ribbon, I should have a skull. No. All right. All right, look, I want to watch this, guys. I want to watch this. By now, it should be seen as no secret that space is actually chock full of demons. Well, at least that's how it is in Warhammer 40K. The verdict is still out there on whether or not that's true in real life. And out of all of the terrifying demonic entities that prowl the realm of chaos and frequently blight our universe with the sin of their existence, four stand apart from the rest as beings of apocalyptic might, malevolent entities that are so dangerous, their existence has to be kept a closely guarded secret by the holy ordos of the Inquisition. Now, I speak, of course, of greater demons, like the bloodthirsters. Dude, this guy looks so fucking cool, man. Look at his beard. Dude, that's sick. You know, my beard used to be that long. ...of corn, who are the avatars of hatred, existing only to spill blood and take skulls. The keepers of secrets, the embodiment of... Good God. Whoa. Take my soul. Productive excess, repugnant creatures that delight in inflicting untold agony on mortals. There's the great unclean ones, the avatars oh, of yeah. rot and entropy. A massive, bloated monstrosities teeming with every disease, virus, and parasite known to man. And That's so sick, man. This is what we're making today, boys. That's what we're making. This is what we're making right here. The great unclean one. We're going to build a greater demon. I'm hyped, dude. ...teaming with every disease, virus, and parasite known to man. And finally, there's the Lords of Change, masters of sorcery in all its forms, and duplicitous agents of change whose mere presence can fracture minds and send mortals reeling into the oblivion of insanity. But what are the greater demons all about? What is their purpose, and what role do they fill within the hierarchy of chaos? And potentially, most importantly, which one of these dudes is the strongest? Well, mm -hmm. today oh, we're going to be getting question. into that and a whole lot more. But first, a quick shout out to this video's sponsor, and then we're going to dive headfirst into the grimdark. If you somehow haven't you know, heard of it, Tacticus is... You know, I'm just going to say it, man. This is very unfair. Because he has not only a great beard, but amazing hair. And I'm just going to say that this is very unfair. And as a bald man with a beard, I am very salty about this person's genetics right now. <laughs> Sponsor, and then we're going to dive headfirst into the grimdark. If you somehow haven't heard of it, Tacticus is the definitive tactile mobile game for Warhammer 40,000 fans that allows you to get your Warhammer fix anytime, anywhere. I don't know about this game. PVE campaigns, tightly competitive. Is PvE this game good? Battles, and also massively collaborative. Okay, this game probably sucks because it looks like a mobile game, but for a mobile game, is it good? A boss fight under your guild. Trash. Banner. Okay, it's hard so it's to believe all bad. it's okay. already been a year since Tacticus first became available, and it's impressive to see just how much the game has changed since launch. Snowprint Studios has launched tons of fresh and exciting content, including new features, gotcha game. game modes, challenging events, and at this point... Oh, it's a fun toilet game. Okay, okay, okay. Over 50 champions and 13 playable factions. 
I asked the devs what they What's better, this or Rage Shadow Legends? believed was the number one reason Tacticus has been such a lasting success and they told me it was due to the constant support and feedback of their passionate this? community okay. Okay. and to thank them they're planning a huge anniversary celebration for the players in this event the new Tyranid threat has emerged and the Space Marines must answer the call to oh, combat shit. the endless swarm muster your champions and join Tacticus for a week of challenging battles exciting rewards and not to mention tons of loot the special anniversary event starts on August Overkill. 13th and runs until August 19th. Okay. It's the perfect time for all Warhammer 40,000 fans to enter the tactical battlefields of the Grimdark. Right. There's going to be weak... Tacticus, dudes, check it out. There's a QR code. Scan that shit. Among the teeming masses of demonic entities that prowl the realm of chaos, none are as feared as those the faithful refer to as greater demons. Okay. These are demonic entities of supreme ability, each a reflection of their patron god and an unholy master of corruption. They are the generals and lieutenants of chaos, the supreme commanders Ugh. of its demonic legions, and Ugh. the will of the chaos gods given form. Although their manifestations are thankfully rare, when they do deign to blight the physical universe with their presence, rampant destruction and untold levels of corruption are always left in their blazing wakes. They are some of the- Can these guys kill a, kill a, um, not a Primarch, but like, fuck, what's that guy right below a Primarch? Can, can they, can they kill them? They can. So these guys are big dick. You don't fuck with these guys. Most powerful combatants ever documented and come in four distinct forms. The endless rage of the bloodthirsters who can cleave tanks in twain and rip fortresses open yeah, with a single master. swing of their massive axes. The towering great unclean ones, avatars of filth and disease that act as a vector for every known pathogen in the universe. The beguiling and seductive keepers of secrets that are faster than the human eye can track and delight in the suffering and anguish they inflict upon mortals. Or the limitless destructive sorceries of the impossibly intelligent lords of change. These are entities... So it's Korn, Nurgle, Slanish, and then Sinch. That the mortal mind was not designed to comprehend. Seductive? Their Corey existence Bigger? is something that we're not truly capable of processing. Okay. In fact, when we witness them in the artwork of Warhammer 40k, the form we see is our mind trying to make sense of the unexplainable, to give shape to something that is inherently shapeless. Oh, the wow. Act of seeing them with our, our mortal eyes is a subconscious defense mechanism of the human psyche. It is to generate in our mind an image that, although admittedly horrifying, is grounded within the laws of our universe. And thus our mind is allowed to accept its existence without fracturing under the sheer impossibility of the greater demon's truth. Like Holy shit. So like their appearance is just what our like feeble mind can piece together. You know... You know the uh you know the brain will like that's why like optical illusions work, you know? So like basically our brain tries to whenever we like look at something, we try to piece it together, right? So that's why you can see like things that are not not really the way they look, but when we look at them in like a certain angle or a certain light, they'll be pieced together because that's our brain trying to you know, like make it together. You know, it's just all, all it's just always been really cool. Warp. Entities made very not of flesh and bone and tangible substance, but energy and emotion. For as much as our mind wants to interpret something like a bloodthirster as a towering humanoid combatant that rampages across the battlefield, it's more accurate to think of them as literally the emotion of rage given sentience. Greater demons themselves are granted a much greater amount of freedom than the lesser demons beneath them. It's true that they are... So this is... So, like, that guy is, like... I don't know if the word personified is correct, but, like, personified emotion. It's just, like, energy that takes the shape of something. ...a manifestation of the god that created them, but they all possess a will that is uniquely their own. They each have their own quirks, nuances, aspirations, and 
oftentimes their ambition can give way to desires that directly contradict the plans of their patron deity. Many more have even demonstrated- Dude, this is the guy we're building today. This is literally the guy we're building today. This guy right here. This guy. I'm gonna come. Look, that's him. We're gonna fucking build this guy today, dude. I'm going to make his eyes glow green, too, just like that. Sinch tossed his greater demon in a black hole just to fuck around and find out. What the fuck? Well, what happened? What did they find out? Like, what happened? He did particularly... Wait, he got another head? remarkable skills and abilities that their god in question may not even be capable of. And two good examples of this come in the form of He came back with another head? <laughs> okay. Sinch is the personification of the <laughs> emote. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay of two different Lords of Change, as in Karos Fateweaver, traditionally seen as the most exalted of Lords of Change, has the ability to see into the future, is something that Zinch himself has struggled with. Although I will admit that Karos doesn't see only one definitive future, but the infinite possible futures as well, is something that has caused him to go insane even by demonic standards. Thus this is a guy that got thrown in the black hole? The two-headed chicken, this guy? What's his name? Kairos? making sense of his ramblings is a full-time job for a whole host of other lords of change there is another lord of change known as and i'm just going to be honest with you i'm going to butcher my way through this a teos raukiers who is said to be a teos raukiers okay so unbelievably powerful that zinch keeps him chained up at all times Holy only deploying shit. him when absolutely necessary as the power that he wields is something that even a chaos god is afraid of. Although we- Wow, that's crazy. What the fuck was that guy's name, dude? Ateos. So this guy's like big dick. So he's almost as powerful as Sinch. What's this guy's- Hold on, does he have a model? this fucking guy's name hmm do they have it on um Oh, here he is. What the fuck? He's $1,200. That's a pretty good paint job, too. Well, but it's already painted. If I bought this, I'd want to paint it. That paint job's pretty good, man. You know, you know what I've noticed about, um, uh, I, I mean, this is probably going to sound stupid or I guess obvious. Yeah, I, this is going to sound more, more obvious, I guess, than anything. But here's one thing that I didn't, that I didn't notice at first, but I am a, um, but I'm a fan of more dark or realistic paint jobs. So basically while I, um, while I really enjoy seeing the more highlighted cartoony paint jobs, um, I'm more of a fan of stuff like this with like very subtle, like shading, uh, very subtle, like gradients right here, like darker colors, because to me, it, it makes it more realistic, I guess. Um, please it's pronounced dark. Sorry. 
Um, this isn't the guy with the set. Or wait, no, this isn't the guy with the second head. Oh, they do have Kairos. Or wait, Kairos? Yeah, Kyro. This is the guy with the two heads, right? Yeah. <laughs> Saints knows how to destroy all of creation, but he forgot. So he's basically just in a constant state of. <laughs> okay. It's pronounced gyro. Okay. Yeah, so I guess basically what I'm trying to say is uh, when I look at these two, actually, this is a good. Okay, so you see how like bright this is? I think this looks cool, but I'm actually more of a fan of this because it looks more realistic, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I do think that this is an S tier fucking paint job, though. It's just um, the more that I do this, the more that I paint, the more that I look at, 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 things that people have painted um and my own personal art style i'm still trying to develop that actually you know but um i find myself i find myself more attracted to these type of colors or effects i guess um yeah i guess i i don't know if i explain myself properly but anyway uh man this looks really cool oh dude look at the are those like mouths screaming mouths in his whatever the fuck that is yeah that looks fucking awesome oh my god there's a fucking hand dude this is sick what the fuck this might be the coolest thing about this whole model Grim dark paint style. The Death Guard is one of the most. Oh my! Now this is what I'm talking about. Holy shit! Representative chapters of the Chaos Marines legions. To say that the very concept of the Plague Marine is abhorrent would be a massive. This is fucking awesome. dichotomy has given me the drive and motivation this is the shit i like man this i really like this man i really like this shit to create my latest piece so in this video oh sh i mean i can see why people wouldn't like this though i can also see why people wouldn't like this but dude, I just I there's something about like the darker colors and the just the grunginess, just the 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 filth that I just think is so fucking cool, man. I don't know. Yeah. I just think it's so cool, man. Show you an overview with the highlights of this project. Like look at the colors right here, dude. It's just so fucking gross i don't know man i mean don't i mean don't get me wrong like i like this shit too i love this shit too um there's just <laughs> boo boo get off the stage you like shitty paint jobs boo man shut the fuck up dude yeah this is pretty cool this is a nice this is a nice style i like this man and i think i feel like this is kind of in the middle this isn't too bright, but isn't too grungy. This is probably my preferred, honestly. I think this is a really good paint job. This is really good. Anyway. Okay. Back to this. Raukiers, who is said to be so unbelievably powerful that Zinch keeps him chained up at all times, only deploying him when absolutely necessary, as the power that he wields is something that even a chaos god is afraid of. Although we refer to them as greater demons, as in they are more exalted than the lesser demons beneath them, this title really doesn't do justice to just how powerful these malignant entities truly are. A greater demon is so much more than simply a more powerful demon. Most of them are worshipped as gods in their own right by cults and cultures throughout time and space. The bloodthirsters have been depicted as gods of war by warrior cults across time.
So the bloodthirsters are the great demons of corn. The great unclean ones are the great demons of Nurgle. Some of these cultures may have viewed them as honorable patriarchs of martial prowess, and others may have seen them as insidious entities that led the cult to salvation through bloodshed. There's even been ancient depictions of bovine-faced keepers of secrets, with massively exaggerated and curvaceous physical features that have been documented in cave paintings from ancient long-dead societies, and were believed by some to have been worshipped as a form of fertility goddess. Even in the grimdark future, there are... Uh, now, I know that butt cheek had hair on it, but it was a very nicely shaped butt cheek. I just want to I just want to point out that one of my nipples is hard, but the other one is not. Countless underground cults that have dedicated the entirety of their existence to the worship and following of a single greater demon. Although each of the four greater demons are a truly horrifying foe to face in battle, their true terror is not just in their destructive nature, but in their ability to corrupt the masses, to spread their vile messages of hatred, rot, excess, and deceit. To lay <laughs> Look at this face, dude. This face right here, man. This is my face whenever I get a new mini. <laughs> this is your guys' face whenever you think you type something funny in chat. They low the foundations of mankind, not only through physical violence, but by twisting the hearts and minds of mortals against each other. Each and every one of them has a role to play within the great game, and only the truly ignorant and foolish would ever enter into a pact with such a malignant abomination. Now that we know a bit more about what a greater demon is, let's talk about all four of them in greater detail, and we'll start with the bloodthirsters of corn. Okay. Out of all the demonic servants of the blood god, none are as exalted as the bloodthirsters, for they are rage and slaughter given form. The unholy avatars of Korn's infinite hatred, and are by far the most straightforward of all of the demons that we're going to be talking about in this video. They exist purely for war, their only goal to drown the worlds of our galaxy in figurative and sometimes literal oceans of blood. Wherever the blood gods chosen go, they infect the population with a sickness of slaughter, their hatred a disease that spreads with a malevolent sentience so effective it would make Korn's brother Nurgle, the Lord of Plagues, envious. At his core, Korn is a warrior god, and none better encapsulate his essence more so than the bloodthirsters, entities that Dude, these guys the seem badass under the weight of their rage. They are the blood god's emissaries. Dude, look at this guy. This is so fucking metal. Like, dude. Okay. Like, check it out, dude. Check it out. Just follow me on this for a second, okay? Let's say you give this demon a guitar, okay? All right. If you give this demon a guitar, this is what's going to play. <laughs> That's what's going to play. If you give this demon a guitar, dude... <laughs> who spread his unholy message of unfettered rage, not with words, but through the divine instruments of sword, axe, and whip. Every weapon stroke, every twist of the blade, sends a... This guy looks like, um... Oh. What's that thing from Lord of the Rings, bro? The, you shall not pass, that fucking guy, dude. The Balrog, there we go. Reverberating message across yeah. space and time. Yeah. A I was going to say Baal, but I think Baal is a, is a of their purpose. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. Mm -hmm. The bloodthirsters are Korn's generals and commanders, leaders of his vast horde of bloodthirsty demons, yeah. and each one is a towering monster clad in blood-drenched brass armor. Yo, hey, Sayori, thank you for the resub. Say hi to Sayori! Hi, Sayori. Thank you for the resub. Uh, Blackmore and Shark Athena, thank you guys as well for the resubs. 38 months, 21 months. Thank you guys. They wield titanic melee weapons that have been infused with demonic hatred and hunger for the blood of mortals, many of which are capable of flight as they are also draped in enormous leathery bat wings. These bloodthirsters soar through the skies in pursuit of worthy prey 
kept aloft by air currents that have been superheated by their own hatred. They are utterly relentless. Air currents superheated by their own hatred? Bro, that's fucking sick. They're so mad they fly. <laughs> They're so mad they fly. In the pursuit of single-minded okay. violence, and thus are unshackled from the weaknesses of doubt, mercy, and compassion. They are some of the strongest singular melee combatants that have ever been documented within the grimdark future, and are an unstoppable force, destruction incarnate, and unflinching butchers of the weak. Man, I gotta get one of these guys to paint. There is no reasoning with a bloodthirster, no chance for a parlay. But at least with the other greater demons, they might be able to offer you something that you want in exchange for your corruption, cooperation. Wait, what is this? Oh, Cobanda. Dude, that guy is fucking sick. $455. Okay, bro, tell me on a scale of 1 to 10, how good is this guy in the game? How good is this guy in the game? No, I've seen Angron before. Yeah, this is the Primark. Yo, how the why the fuck does the is the Primark less expensive than this guy? Oh, this guy's pretty bad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's Canada price. Oh. I mean, still, that's like two hundred and something dollars, man. Still higher than Angron. Nah, see, I thought about getting this too. This is uh, Balakor. Yeah, thought about getting this too. This guy's, this guy's really fucking cool, man. I've never painted fire before, so I need to, I need to practice on that. Yeah. Uh, I am gonna get. Uh, um. I am going to get some of these guys, but these guys are like above my, these guys are above my, uh, above my skill level currently. Let's focus on the, the, the great clean, the great unclean one. And then we'll, we'll, you know, actually this guy, this guy doesn't really look that bad. To paint. He's like four colors. He's like four different colors. You mix them a little bit. This guy doesn't really look that bad to paint. I mean, a lot of this is just fucking shady, man, honestly. Like, if you if you were to prime this guy black, for example, go in with a gray dry brush and then go in with, like, a gray, a, a darker gray and then throw some, sh throw a shader on this, that would, that do, that, that would, I mean, that wouldn't do all of it, but you'd have to go back in and do these little, like, minuscule areas. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this guy's easy. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying for how big the model is, there's there's not that. There's not as many colors here, for example, as like here. Because here you have range of like white all the way to like yellow and red. And then you have like all of this stuff on his armor and shit. Anyway, anyway. Um, yo, oh, thank you for the reset. 37 months. Is that sweat on your forehead or are you lactating? My forehead is dry. Anyway. Or alignment. Now, this is obviously a catch-22 and is a surefire path towards damnation, but the option at least exists. The only thing a bloodthirster can offer anyone who would foolishly stand in their way is death in the name of corn. Jesus. For a bloodthirster does not see the individual. He doesn't see the merits of any given person no matter how accomplished their deeds, no matter what contribution they have made to the universe. I think it's fucking awesome. Okay, a greater demon, can they kill a Primark? Can greater demons kill Primarchs? No, right? Oh, they can, actually? Wow. Okay. Huh. Wow. Okay. Huh. Oh, it depends on the writer. Okay. 
So I guess the safe answer for, to that is they're just as powerful. They're like just as powerful. Okay. And oh, I see. So the Primarchs are protected by plot armor, unless you're Sanguinius or Horus. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Aurora. No matter what, they could possibly offer the Bloodthirster. To them, they are simply either a coward that needs to be culled or a challenger to be defeated. There are several different types of Bloodthirsters, and they are organized in an eightfold hierarchy of different hosts. Unfortunately, as of the time of recording this video, we've only been given insight into four of them. That is the first host, the Exalted Bloodthirsters, of which there are only eight and are supposedly the mightiest of their kind. The third host, known as the Wrath of Corn, the sixth host, the Bloodthirsters of Insensate Rage, and the eighth host, the Bloodthirsters of Unfettered Fury. These are the Bloodthirsters that most commonly wield a pair of weapons. One, the massive iconic axes of corn. Dude, that is so fucking metal, dude. The Bloodthirsters of Unfettering Fury. Holy shit. Dude, that's like a fucking... Dude, that's like a band name. That's like... The, the, dude, okay, 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 okay. All right. When I think of Bloodthirsters of Unfettering Fury, I think of this. Okay, this is what I think of. Uh, hold on. <laughs> this is what I think of, dudes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, okay. Well, now I'm going to think of this now. The Bloodthirsters of Unfettered Fury. Now I'm going to think of this because of that. Oh, uh, it's called the... Uh, uh, I'm going to come. I'm going to think of this. Shit, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on, this is what I'm going to think of. <laughs> hold on. That's what I'm gonna think of now. <laughs> Dude, this is sick though, man. This is sick, man. <laughs> okay. All right, that's what I'm gonna think of. That are capable of carving a battle tank in half with a single swing, and in their offhand, a vicious whip that has been studded with brass spikes and arcs across the air, cracking with the sound of thunder as the terrible lash renders entire mobs into gelatinous gore. On the other hand, we have the bloodthirsty gelatinous gore <laughs> okay okay all right all right <laughs> it just can you imagine like the fucking the demon just you know whips whoops, you know and then like it's just a pile of gore now like you don't even you don't even know what it is it's it's just gore you know thirsters of insensate rage who are potentially the most mindlessly savage of the terrible lash renders entire okay. mobs into gelatinous gore on the other hand we have the bloodthirsters of insensate rage who are potentially the most mindlessly savage of all of the bloodthirsters in that they are so utterly consumed within the fires of corn's rage that they have been rendered utterly incoherent with anger now all bloodthirsters are brutal don't Jesus. get it twisted but whereas the other bloodthirsters exist as a blend of brutality and tactical expertise, the bloodthirsters of insensate rage are like a force of nature, a hurricane of violence that is utterly unpredictable and unable to be controlled. They wield massive two-handed axes as tall as a fortress gate and drive Holy all those fuck. that follow them into a deranged kill frenzy. Finally, there are the Wrath of Corn bloodthirsters. That's fucking sick. That's fucking man mode right there. Airborne predators that scour the battlefield in search of worthy prey. Their role in the battlefield takes the form of a giant winged assassin, an arrogant hunter that seeks to humble only the worthiest of heroes. From their vantage point in the sky, they seek out enemy warlords, generals, and champions of renown, 
before swooping down with a single goal of butchering them in the name of the Blood God. For as terrifying as the Bloodthirsters are, the next greater demon that we're going to talk about oh, is the fear of death shared by all sentient creatures given form. If we were to rank the greater demons in terms of which is Here we go, boys. This is Sim. This is Sim. We're building him today. The great unclean one. Fat fuck. Fat fuck. Capable of eliciting the strongest feelings of utter revulsion in mortals, the great unclean ones would certainly be at the top of the list. They are titanic amalgamations of disease-ridden, rotten flesh, Ugh. mountains of rancid blubber that are clouded by Ugh. swarms of demonic flies, and Ugh. whose maggot-ridden innards spill forward and drag through the muck and grime of the battlefield, Ugh. from tears and gashes in the demon's swollen bellies. They are each covered in clusters of weeping pustules that incubate swarms of pestilent nurglings and chattering needle-teeth imps that erupt from the great unclean one's sores like a tide of leprous disease-riddled piranhas. The leprous disease-riddled piranhas. <laughs> Bro. Okay. <laughs> Dude, 40k is so fucking metal. Yo, we made this guy. We built this guy the other day. This is the beast of Nurgle. We built this guy the other day. Ugh. Oh, shit. I didn't drop him. I almost did, though. Ugh. Okay, so you guys probably can't really see it very well, but I swear I swear to God it looks better. You can check my Twitter, check my Instagram. It's on there. The combination of the Great Unclean One's physical body horror and pungent, rancid stench is so potent, it can drive all of those in its presence into madness. And despite their horrifying appearance, the Great Unclean Ones actually exhibit a strange duality that is unique to the denizens of Nurgle's garden. On one hand, they are single-handedly the most grotesque and disturbing entities that have ever blighted our universe. Yet, conversely, they display a deep paternal affection for all those that follow them into battle. They are like loving parents that view each of their demonic warriors and mortal servants alike like a proud father may view their children. They take That's so weird. I mean, that's really cool. That's just, I didn't expect that from these guys. Yeah. Take pride in the achievements of each of them and bestow upon them ever more virulent and disgusting blessings derived from the grand. Dude, now I got a whole different outlook, man. Never judge a book by its cover, dude. Never judge. So this guy's a big softy, bro. He's a big softy. I mean, yeah, he's gross. His guts are spilling out. He's got this bell. He probably rings it obnoxiously, you know? He's got this sword. He's got this weird tongue. He smells like, you know, shit covered in vomit mixed with dead piranhas and fucking weird shit. But he's a nice guy. When Nurgle converts you, you become family. Okay, all right, all right. Father himself. When the legions of Nurgle march to wars, the war cries of the blubberous great unclean ones are at odds with those displayed by other demonic generals. Whereas a bloodthirster of corn may shout only incoherent ramblings that are dripping with anger and bloodlust. This is the guy we're actually building today. This is really cool. The great unclean one in turn shouts booming words of encouragement to his children, a proclamation of he and Nurgle's eternal oh, wow. love. There are many great unclean ones that have even viewed the enemy as simply misguided. Individuals that, although unfortunate, they have found themselves in conflict with one another, it simply need to be shown the truth. The beauty of decay. Hmm. An entropic message that the great unclean one and its herd of disgusting followers are all too happy to enforce upon the ignorant. The jovial nature of the great unclean one is simply a mask. They are malevolent creatures okay, okay. that seek to spread filth and disease across the known universe. And they do not take kindly to their ideals of rot being rejected. To harm any of the lesser demons under his command or reject his pestilent gifts through the use of medicine and vaccines 
is to twist its joy and love into a fiery paternal rage. When roused to fight, the Great Unclean One is a perplexing and terrifying sight. Dude, this guy's fucking face like got caved in or it's deflated. They are unstoppable in their advance and are seemingly immune to harm, as bullets and blades are shrugged off as if they were nothing more than bothersome insects. Despite the seeming impossibility of it, considering the minuscule legs that support the monstrosity, the Great Unclean One is said to be inhumanly fast. They charge into the enemy like an they're fast? Bro, that's actually terrifying. That's actually terrifying. It's kind of like a huge bear or something. Or, no, you know what? No, 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 no. You know what this is like, bro? You know what this is like? No, 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 no. This is what it reminds me of. This is what it reminds me of. Dude, you guys see this, man? Look how terrifying this is. You guys see this shit? Watch this hippo. Look how fast this hippo is, dude. This hippo is chasing a boat. Chasing a fucking boat, bro. That's insane. I thought he was here, but he's not. He's over here. Dude, that's what it reminds me of. All right, where's uh, what are we watching? Enormous fetid wrecking ball that leaves behind a trail of destruction and oozing filth. Ugh. Like a rotund, leprous battering ram, the Great Unclean One wrecks havoc through the enemy lines as fortifications are smashed apart and infantry is sent flying in every direction. Their weaponry comes in the form of plague flails, filth encrusted bile blades, and rusted doomsday bells, Ugh. each of which is an unholy instrument of plague dripping in virulent toxins, viruses, and bacteria that are so potent they can infect the atmosphere around them with pestilence. Whereas the Great Unclean One may not be as physically strong as its counterpart within the legions of corn, their ludicrous endurance allows them to weather the storm of an entire army. What's more, they're capable of breathing in deep the pestilent winds of the Garden of Nurgle to vomit forth psychic <gasps> tides of filth, maggots, and mucus that inflict all those caught within its torrential downpour with a virulent cocktail of horrendous demonic diseases. The bodies of each of these stench lords acts kind of like a cauldron and is constantly in motion to make ever more terrifying plagues. Each of In the tabletop, you can use different diseases for different debuffs. Holy shit. Does Zames ever read YouTube chat? I've tried a load of times and he never responds. What the fuck? Yes, I read YouTube chat. of which is brewed deep within their guts to perfect potency before finally bursting forth from their bellies to spread their virulent contents in every direction. And killing such a creature is nearly an impossible task as melee and ranged weaponry prove to be almost entirely useless against them. The blades get caught in rolls of rancid fat and weeping innards and uh. bolter shells detonate into clouds of pus and filth that serve only to aid the creature in its mission of spreading rot. On the rare occasion that one of them is actually brought down, the victory is almost always cut short by the sound of the demon's immense body detonating. This comes in the form of an explosion of demonic excrement, oh acid, God. contagions, and seemingly countless other demonic parasitic life forms that have been gestating within its bulk. The fear that is generated by the great unclean ones comes by just how- Dude, so it's like you kill them and then they pop. Despite how potent of diseases and plague Nurgle is, there is a tyrant high fleet that is known to make even more potent diseases that eat Nurgle alive. Holy shit. Utterly repulsive and disgusting they are. But the next demon we're going to talk about on this list goes in the complete opposite direction. Dude, look at the way this part. Dude, look at the way this thing walks, bro that is generated by the great unclean ones comes by just how utterly Bro. repulsive and disgusting they are but the next demon we're going to talk about on this if i ever have this much attitude okay okay let me okay let me correct myself if if in my life i can ever generate even a fraction of this much attitude bro i think i think i think that'd be a win for me dude look, dude, look at this walk 
list goes in the complete opposite direction and is equally as terrifying. <gasps> That is awesome. Out of all of the greater demons, the Keeper of Secrets is by far the most perplexing and confusing. On one hand, they are loathsome, repugnant monstrosities bad that delight walk. in the misery That's and the suffering of walk. others. Yet, on the other hand, they are elegant and beautiful. Glamorous. Old Keeper of Secrets model was a minotaur with a booby out. <laughs> Yo, anybody got a link to that model? Yo, anybody got a link to that, dude? <laughs> we, we got a link to that, man? <laughs> I want to see that, dude. What, what was it? Uh, What was that? He's serious? I want to see the model, dude. I want to see the Minotaur with the booby out. <laughs> <laughs> Age of Sigmar. Oh wait. <laughs> wait, is this it? <laughs> this doesn't look like a Minotaur though. I mean, it's got a yeah, there's a, there's a booby. <laughs> yeah, there's a <laughs> dude, look at this. <coughs> what is that? A space marine dude? What is this one? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. That's a good model. That's a good model. What? <laughs> wait, wait. What? <laughs> that is indeed. That is indeed the Minotaur with the booby out. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Oh, man. You know what Slanesh reminds me of, man? Uh, it reminds me of, did you guys ever play that game, um, Dante's Inferno? Hold on. Oh, man. Uh, hold on. Look at this shit. You guys ever play this, dude? The lust fight. This was okay. <laughs> this was such a good Martin. fucking game. Hold on. Let me skip ahead. Dude, this was such a good. This was such a good game, man. This was so good. If you haven't had the chance to play this game and you ever get the opportunity to, you should play it because they did an amazing job making hell look like hell. This game needs a remake. No, I really think so. Dude, where is the fucking lust fight, bro? Dude, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. This is what this... Slanish kind of reminds me of this a little bit. The Cleopatra incident. This game was like it was like uh it was like God of War. Don't do this. Because of you, I must. I would I never must. do anything to cause this. Oh, but you did cause this. Dude, this guy's such a cunt. That's let's Lucifer. Wow. Oh, but you did cause this. <laughs> He's such a fucking cunt. Look into your beloved's eyes, Dante. Look. Dante. Look. Oh God. Oh fuck! I didn't know that was an actual booby.
dude. We've <laughs> Last stream. Nuke the VOD. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Man, we've we've had some mess ups. We've had some. Well, I didn't. I didn't think. Where is it at? Is it right? Or wait, it's here. Is it here? Oh God. <laughs> okay. Well, man. Nah, it's it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like, um, uh, no, I know there's a new, yeah, 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 there's a new, uh, yeah, we'll swap, we'll, we'll swap the category. Well, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, I was, okay, so there's like a part in here, there's a part in here that reminds me of Salinish. Anyway, let's let's just move on. <laughs> Patrons that bestow upon the faithful every indulgence they could... My innocence and purity is ruined. ...that delight in the misery and suffering of others. Yet, on the other hand, they are <laughs> elegant and beautiful. Glamorous patrons that bestow upon the faithful every indulgence they could possibly imagine. And to witness a keeper of secrets is to witness the totality of beauty and revulsion in a singular reality-defying entity, as everything about them exemplifies their conflicted nature. Their towering, lithe bodies are an androgynous fusion of human and animal parts, a sensual combination of additional appendages and claws, all wrapped in scintillating clothing woven from the finest of materials. They're powerful So these are like the fabulous demons. So these are like these are like the fabulous ones. The party demons. Yeah, 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 yeah. They slay. Okay, yeah. Particular form right. is coated in bombs and scented oils, as well as jewels of impossible worth that accentuate its hypnotic movement. <laughs> I, um, I feel something awakening in me. These are the slutty demons. Okay. The mind-altering musks they generate, although difficult to describe, are said to smell like a combination of the world's most illustrious perfume Ooh. mixed with rotting meat. <clears throat> to witness such a creature is to... Man, I had, a, I had an interesting experience one time. <clears throat> okay, so, okay, now, this is going to be a little brutal, okay? This is, this is, this is, this is like, uh, this is going to be a little, a little honest you know a little, a little too honest a little tmi but uh <clears throat> i was on this okay so when i was at fedex uh, i used to work at fedex and when i worked at fedex um i we had to take buses everywhere right so you had to take a bus from the parking lot to the hub and then you had to take a bus from the the uh, the entrance of the hub to your work area. Well, I was, I took a bus to the entrance to my hub, uh, to my work area one night and okay, look, I'm just going to be real. All right. A vast majority of us, we know what, for a lack of a better way to say it. Okay. I'm just going to say stank rotten pussy smells like, okay. Sometimes, you know, you're talking, you're talking with a girl, you know, you do a little bit of Netflix and chill. You go down to, you know, do the deed and, you know, you come back up in the Mortal Kombat stance. Okay. So you like go down there and you're like, oh, fuck me. Oh, you know, because it, because of the smell. Okay. Look, I'm just going to be real. I'm just going to be real. Sometimes it happens. Okay. <laughs> All right. It happens to the best of us. Okay. Anyway. So. I was on my way to my work area and I'm not even kidding. There was the most potent fucking smelly pussy smell on that fucking bus. But at the same time, it's still pussy, right? So I, ha so <laughs> this was like my first, like, well, not my first, but this was like one of my first times ever experiencing something like this, like outside of the actual deed. So it was very, it was a very, uh, uh, very unique experience in the sense that like it was horrible 
Like it smelled really bad, so I was d- disgusted. But at the <laughs> same time, it was still pussy. So I was like, I, I, I had like, <laughs> like, I was like half turned on, but half disgusted. It was a very, very weird feeling. Okay, it was like, well, yeah, you know what I mean. You know how like on Mortal Kombat, right? How they're like, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, like sometimes you go down there and you come right back up and it's like, oh, fuck me, dude. You know, that's just like sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, anyway, so, so uh, when they said it smelled like perfume and like rotten flesh. Hey, 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 look, 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 look. For all the women in chat. That's probably like two of you. Okay, look, I'm not saying you can't experience stinky dick. Okay, all I'm saying is I've never experienced stinky dick. Okay, so I'm not saying that you guys can't. You you guys probably have some stinky dick stories too. Okay, I'm not saying that you can't. You know, I, I'm just saying I haven't experienced it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. All right, I'm not trying to say it's only specific to women. Okay, that's that's not what I'm that's not what I'm saying. As interrupting your apology. Well, maybe if you were fucking subbed and supporting the stream, you know, you're not even subbed. Get the fuck out of here. Matter of fact, I'm glad that you said that. That get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. <laughs> I was eating sushi before this story. Thanks, chat. No, thanks for watching. Okay. All right, anyway. Simultaneously experience fear and joy, despair and hope, revulsion and arousal, suffering and pleasure. Emotions that the Keeper of Secrets delights in forcing upon mortals. To simply stand in their presence is to surrender the entirety of one's self-will. It doesn't matter how disciplined they are. It doesn't matter how much they pride themselves on their ability to resist temptation. Censored by His Majesty's Holy Inquisition. Good God. Dude, this is holy shit, man. This is commitment right here. Look at this. Look at this. This is like pierced in sight of them. You want some seeds? Four tits on screen. To the Keeper of Secrets, all is laid bare. Every thought, every desire, every hope and wish that they have ever experienced. Ex exists as ammunition the creature can use to manipulate and dominate its foes. By in Dude. I would do anything for this demon. Affecting their mind with whispered promises that are impossible to resist. Their ability to Dude, there's three tits there. You know what you could do with three tits? More than you could do with two. <laughs> More than you could do with two, bro. <clears throat> to manipulate on a grand scale is one of the most dangerous things about them, as none are immune to their ability to deceive and corrupt, and entire sectors can fall under their influence. This isn't to say that they aren't also a terrifying force upon the battlefield, as in addition to them being the masters of manipulation, they are also vicious and graceful killers that delight in the sadistic excess of wanton violence. That being said, violence is only one part of the infinite spectrum of excess that Slanesh delights in. This is a really cool demon though, all jokes aside, man. This is really cool. I think I've seen this model before. This would be really cool to paint. Thus, the Keepers of Secrets are only deployed in force when all else has failed. When the ignorant of mankind reject the pleasures of the Dark Prince, the Keepers of Secrets take to the battlefield to correct this misjudgment through great and terrible violence. Violence that will be delivered. This is uh, Slanish. And correct me if I'm wrong, but, Sl but Slanish is the youngest Chaos God. And it was made by the Eldar? Because of their emotions? Okay. Wait, a new cane pixel? No way, bro. Really? Okay. This is next up. This is next up. 
<clears throat> Thank you, Cammy. Livered in spectacular excess, they take a sickening pleasure in all forms of slaughter and torture and are like... Tw Let me rephrase. Because youngest, yeah. Let me rephrase. The newest. There we go. Wait, so what exactly spawned him again? Or spawned Slanish? The Eldar just were fucking a massive orgy. Eldar gooning, debauchery, over amounts of excess and depravity from Eldari. A freak off. <laughs> Y'all a freak off? So you're telling me right now that if this was true, Diddy himself would have spawned a Slanish. All right. <clears throat> nah, you know what, man? You know what, dude? That shit's getting that shit's getting fucking crazy. It's getting fucking sick, man. Because <clears throat> apparently, like kids and shit are being exposed. Well, not like exposed, but it's it's being brought to light that kids were at some of those, man. Like all jokes aside, it's getting fucking really bad. It's getting really bad. Yeah. Like there were reports, and I don't know how true it is. Because, you know, some, sometimes, sometimes the media isn't true, you know, but, uh, there was, there was reports of like kids being as young as like nine, like being around those like parties and the freak offs and shit, dude, that is fucking vile, man. Holy shit. Yeah. No, it's getting, it's getting crazy, man. Please correct pronunciation of Slanesh. There is no E at the... It's Slanesh. Slanesh. The recent press conference stated that there have been 3,208 reports coming forward. They had to condense it to 120 cases. Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. I mean, honestly, man, they might kill him in jail. <clears throat> they might just kill him in jail. You can't be a witness if you're dead. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the thing is, is like, I never really followed Diddy. Like, I never really, I never really listened to his music. I never really followed him. I was always like a, a Tupac and Big E fan. You know, he plans to take the stand and out people involved. It's going to be, dude, imagine if they stream that shit. Holy fuck. Yeah. Anyway, 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 let's not dive into that. That's a different conversation. Twisted artists that view the act of excruciatingly painful death dealing as a form of creative expression. When unleashed upon the battlefield, their sensual and delicate forms are at odds with their horrendously strong, blinding strikes that come out of nowhere at Quicksilver's speed. They are ludicrously fast, faster perhaps than any of the other demons aligned to the ruinous powers. They tear across the battlefield, every strike so expertly delivered that it spills blood in a pleasing pattern and spreads Jesus. severed limbs across the field in the form of an exotic tapestry. They are So it's like they fight like uh they fight like the dancer from um <clears throat> from Dark Souls sadistically cruel, monstrously powerful, and perhaps most terrifyingly of all, frighteningly intelligent. Every act they commit, every foe they maim, is part of the Keeper's grand orchestra of pain, a symphony of suffering accentuated by the percussion of explosions yeah. and the crescendo of the... Yeah, the dancer of Boral Valley. Yeah, it's like they're very elegant and precise. You know what I mean, I guess agonized screams of their victims as they are torn limb from limb. Aside from their remarkable skills as a physical combatant, they are also practitioners of the mystical arts. Their powers can be used to lead the weak to their doom, turn allies against each other, or unleash terrifying psychic agony across a wide area. There is nothing more seductive to the Keepers themselves than the corruption of warriors with particularly noble hearts, individuals that believe themselves incorruptible and are set on a path of discipline and virtue. 
to twist the heart of such a stoic individual and turn their quest for glory into a debased lusting for excess and depravity is like an irresistible drug to the keepers. Thus, you know, <coughs> excuse me, like of all the ones so far, I think, uh, I think the corn grater demons are actually the least terrifying because uh, the corn grater demons, they just fucking kill you. Like they just blow you up or turn you into a pile of gore. But like the Nurgle infect you and it's like this horrible putrid like death of disease and just you're so miserable right like you're so like you like basically the what are they called again the blood the blood spill or fuck what are they called blood spillers or no they're called um fuck man sorry i have the fucking memory of a goldfish the bloodthirster. Fuck, I don't know why I can I'm thinking, oh, God, blood spiller. Fucking dark knight. Jesus Christ. Anyway, the bloodthirsters, right? So the bloodthirsters, um, they just fucking kill you. Like, you're just, you're super dead. Like, you're dead in an instant, right? Which is much more appealing than, like, this shit here. Dude, because, like, look at this guy, dude. Look, or look at this demon. Okay, look. He's got one glove on, which means, guaranteed, this is going in your rectum, like, 100%. This tongue, this tongue is going to go places, it's going to go in holes and orifices that you didn't even know existed. And this sword is going to flay your, your whole body. So you're going to be like getting a prostate exam and licked while having no skin all at the same time. Bro, that sounds way worse than just fucking dying. You know what I mean? T. T. But then like, so these guys are really scary. And then the Nurgle, it just, they're, they're also really scary because, <clears throat> because you know, your death is going to be also slow and like just disease ridden, horrible shit. They will routinely seek out such men and women, sacrificing them to the perverted will of Slanesh. Although it may be difficult to believe, it is said that the Keepers of Secrets and many of Slanesh's demonic forces in general enjoy battle even more than the bloodthirsty warriors of corn. I mean, they kind of However, remind me of Hellraiser, despite yeah. Despite their shared appreciation for death dealing, yeah. there does exist a bitter... It's like torture mixed with, like, pleasure kind of thing, you know? ...rivalry between the two gods and their forces. <clears throat> the Slanesh views corn as a brute that cannot appreciate the beauty of yeah. war, a simpleton that is too consumed with the act of slaughter that they are incapable of savoring the ecstasy of it. Korn and his followers, on the other hand, despise Slanesh. The battle is all that matters. Killing is a purpose in and of itself, and to draw out the victim's suffering is nothing more than a roadblock to spilling more blood and taking more skulls. To us mortals, the act of wanton slaughter is obviously reprehensible, but we can at least understand why a demonic entity would delight in pursuing it. However, the strange esoteric objectives of the next demon on this list are utterly incomprehensible. To the followers of Zinch, sorcery, deception, and knowledge are some of the greatest tools in the galaxy, instruments that can be used to bring about change in all forms. Dude, look at this fucking thing, man. It's a staff with a book on it. <laughs> Dude, a fucking book, bro? From the subtle and personal to the cataclysmic and galaxy-defining. None better encapsulate the ideals of the architect of fate more. Is this guy you? Is this guy you guys? Epi Pong doesn't read. <clears throat> Is this the army of Twitch chat? I mean, it kind of looks like you lose this guy. There's no way he's typing anything positive in Twitch chat. <laughs> Dude, look at this fucking thing. There's no way this thing has not typed a single positive message in Twitch chat. So that these greater demons, the lords of change. Excuse me. Although, despite existing as repositories of forbidden lore and remarkable psychic ability, even they are nothing more than pawns in the infinite labyrinthian plots and schemes of their master. 
The nature of change is a fickle beast, and thus the lords of change can take on a variety of different forms, though they most often appear as lanky humanoid birds with long necks and extended limbs with resplendent plumage. They are often draped in clothing reminiscent Go of- Go fucking figure that they're birds. Go fucking figure, dude. Birds can be so fucking annoying, man. Flying around, chirping, fucking chirping in your ear. Seeds. Of what we would associate with wizards, mages, and high priests. And although their powerful limbs, claws, and beaks, as well as the sparkling blades they wield, make them no slouch in melee combat, the real power of the Lord of Change comes in the form of the magics that it is capable of wielding. They are sorcerers without equal and wield. I actually love birds. They're my favorite. They're my favorite. Uh, they're my favorite animal. I used to have a pet bird named Taz. It was a parakeet. The raw essence of Taz. chaos more expertly than even the most skilled assassins can wield a blade or firearm. Their sorcery can come in a lot of different forms, each more terrifying to behold than the last. On one hand, they may send forth billowing plumes of pink and blue warp fire that burn not only flesh, but the souls of their victims as well, twisting and contorting. Fire that burns the soul. What the fuck happens when that happens? So you're like dead dead? That's like, um, yo, ooh, ooh, here we go. This is an analogy I don't get to use very much. Um, I'll use the Final Fantasy XIV reference. Is this one like we used Vana for rocket fuel? What is this? That's good. <clears throat> Hoarding them into gibbering creatures of chaos. On the other hand, their magic may be far more subtle, Factory sending out deceptive Kamake waves of psychic from manipulation. Of Greenland to live and work in Denmark, but little did he know that the apartment he moved into had a horribly dark induced past. feeling. Where's it coming Seven from? Seven years ago, a 49-year-old man was brutally attacked and lost his life right outside the God. apartment's front door. Damn it! of dread can gibbering creatures of chaos on the other hand their magic may be far more subtle sending out dude oh. <laughs> deceptive waves of psychic manipulation that induce feelings of dread hold on, confusion hold on. Fear or any other emotion. Hold on, we, hold on, hold on, we gotta back up a little bit. Essence of chaos, okay, okay. more expertly than <clears throat> even the most skilled assassins can wield a blade or firearm. Their sorcery can come in a lot of different forms, each more terrifying to behold than the last. On one hand, they may send forth billowing plumes of pink and blue warp fire that burn not only flesh, but the souls of their victims as well. Yo, I heard that uh, Thousand Sons, are those the guys you fight in uh, Space Marine 2? Thousand Sons. Okay. Ooh. These guys? Oh, yeah. They, they look different, though. Is there a reason why they're colored blue in the game? Wait, pre-heresy. Oh, so the red is before Horus. Oh, oh, here, yeah, they're blue. Okay, why why did that happen? Oh, they were oh they used to be good guys. Okay, so when so they were red, they were good guys, and then the Horus Heresy happened, and now they're bad guys. Okay, who's the Primarch of Thousand Sons again? 
Who's the Who's the Primarch? They were corrupted by Sinch. Okay. Magnus. I don't remember him. Magnus the Red. Oh wait, no, it's this guy. Oh, I don't remember this guy. I imagine this is pre-heresy. And then this is after. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Yo, he's pretty sick. Yeah, he's got nipple tusks. Yeah, okay. I like... I vaguely remember him. I vaguely. Um... This guy looks like uh, the Prince of Darkness from Legend. Is this guy any good in the game? Yo, let me ask. Let me ask you guys a question: Are the price of these models indicative of how good they are in the game? Not always. Some okay. Well, how good is this guy in the game? Like, I didn't buy this guy for the game. I just bought this guy because he's, he kicks ass. But is this guy good in the game? <clears throat> he's pretty good. Ass. No. He's solid. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to watch it, Panda. Yeah, we're going to watch it. Hmm. Okay, okay. No, I was just uh no, I was just curious cuz I've never really cuz I've never played the game or anything. So. Yeah. Nah, we're going to watch it after this though. Uh okay, let me use the bathroom real quick, guys. And uh and then we'll finish watching this. So, so, uh, so the great unclean one is just a really obnoxious enemy to fight. It's just like really, uh, is it like a typical, oh, Nurgle in general is okay. So is it like a typical, like tanky character where uh it's like how do i want to word it it's like a you guys said it was like a bullet sponge and uh he's like hard to get rid of you either avoid it or fo okay oh on the tabletop you focus on objectives basically each turn you want to control a point Oh, I see. I see. Hmm. Okay. Um, I do know that after we build this unclean one, I'm going to knock out my list. Uh, I have uh, three Tyranids I have to build. I have four Death Guard I have to build. And then I have to finish up. Um, and then we got to finish up the Inquisition guys. I might paint some of those off stream though. Like the, I, I might finish up the Inquisition guys off stream. Uh, we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm gonna. Yeah, I got. I bought uh, here. I'll just show you guys real fast. Uh, okay, so we have. 
These are the ones we got, guys. Let me just show you. So, we got this. The Tyranid. I've never painted a Tyranid before, so I'm going to be sure to do one of these on stream. Uh, we have the these, the Blight Lord Terminators. I'm very excited to paint these. Very excited to paint these. Death Guard are my favorite Chaos faction. Very excited for that. And then eventually we got this motherfucker. <laughs> this is the ultimate for me. This is the ultimate. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So we're not quite there yet. Okay. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. I think I'm going to try to make more Terry in my 20th model. Hold on. What is this? More. What is this guy? Jesus. Katakros? Mm-hmm. Mortark of the Necropolis. What is this guy? Store owner based. Wait, what is this? What is it? Something new for the collection. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Something new for the collection. <laughs> <laughs> That's a. S that made you sidestep in your mind. <laughs> That's a uh, that's a voice line. That's a voice line from Dark Tide. It's the guy that that <laughs> fucking captures you with the net. We call it wigging. He put the wig on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Something for the collection. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <clears throat> what is this one? <clears throat> what is this one? <clears throat> what is this one? <clears throat> what is <sighs> uh, Norn, Norn Emissary. Neuro lictors or hived. Oh yeah. So, um, I bought those guys because there's three in a pack. And if I fuck one up, I won't feel bad. I don't want to buy a unique Tyranid yet because I've never painted one. So like my approach to painting is whenever I try something new, I buy kind of like a lower, I guess like a lower ranked one so that I can like practice on it a little bit because I don't want to like like, basically, I don't want to buy a good one and fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? I dislike the YouTube stream. You know what? Well, I fucking ban you in Twitch chat. Oh, yeah. I wanted to try that, too. Yeah, I wanted to try that, too. I noticed that, that the Tyranids have different colors. Yeah. Okay. Nah, we'll get to that later. Yeah, like... <clears throat> You can, um, excuse me, <coughs> damn, sorry. Um, like I promise you guys, I promise you that whenever I paint something new that I've never painted before, it will always be on stream. It will always be on stream unless, uh, unless like, unless it just doesn't like line up that day, but I'll try to make it, I'll try to make it to where I always paint, paint something new on stream. I promise. <sighs> Already giving caveat. God, dude, come on guys, man. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Let's finish this video. Twisting and contorting them into gibbering creatures of chaos. On the other hand, their magic may be far more subtle sending out deceptive waves of psychic manipulation that induce feelings of dread, confusion, 
fear, or any other emotion that the Lord of Change wishes. They are the masters of illusion and can trap the minds of their foes in an infinitely complex network of lies and deceit, rendering their physical form helpless to the encroaching hordes of Zinchian demons. With a few well-placed lies, a Lord of Change can manipulate mortals in its presence to reveal treasured secrets, betray their brothers, ignore ethics and laws, and, whether willingly or unwillingly, commit their life to doing the will of Zinch. They are by far the most intelligent of all of the greater Ooh, demons, okay. and thus dedicate their immortal lives to collecting information, learning everything there is to know within the material and immaterial universe, to the point where they are effectively omniscient. Their intellect is so towering and oppressive that when they gaze upon mortals, they do not see their physical form, but see every moment in their life, Holy every shit. hope and dream, every failure and success, every f infinitely complex oh, network of lies and deceit, rendering their physical form helpless to the encroaching hordes of Zinchian demons. Person, and then just based on a quick intellect is so Sorry. towering I don't and know why that, did that. that when they gaze upon mortals, they do not see their physical form, but see every moment in their life. That's really cool. Every hope and dream, every mm -hmm. failure and success, every fear and ambition that the individual has ever experienced. It would be like if you had the ability to look at another person and then just based on a quick assessment of their personality, physical appearance, and speech pattern, you would know everything about them. Every step they have ever taken throughout their life that led them to this moment. Every experience they ever had that made them who they are. To make Holy eye contact shit. with such an entity is to witness the entirety of the paradoxical nature and wisdom of Zinch. It is no wonder that few can exist under the gaze of such a creature without immediately having their mind fractured and their sanity eroded. Oh. And thus it is that the Lords of Change are so particularly dangerous not just because of the psychic obliteration that they can unleash upon the battlefield, but in how unbelievably skilled they are when it comes to manipulation. Although to know the true nature of Zinch and his plans is an impossibly ludicrous notion, we can at least witness within his greater demons a desire to redirect the predictable course of history, to, in every possible scenario, direct the future down new and unexpected paths. The Lords of Change seem to... Yo, you know what some of these... You know what some of these... Uh... All these eyeballs and shit remind me of, man. Uh, have you guys ever seen this? You guys ever seen this AI angels, dude? Be not afraid. Dude, this is so fucking, like, creepy. Ugh. Can you imagine if you... Can you imagine if you died and you saw this? Dude, I don't care that it's AI. I'm talking about, can you imagine if you died and you saw this, dude? I would be, dude, I, I can't even imagine how much fear I would have. That's so fucking creepy, dude. God! This is what kind of reminds me of. Like, dude, look at this face man Ugh. dude this is so fucking creepy have a deep loathing of the trappings of comfort, stability, and familiarity. Instead, whether on an individual scale or scaled up to that of an entire world, a Lord of Change seeks to break apart the foundations of the consistent, to destroy the enduring and eliminate all constants. They seek to obliterate worlds and build them up anew in a twisted mockery of the former. They seem to revel in dashing the hopes of the ambitious while simultaneously raising the dregs of society to positions of ultimate authority. 
Because of the Lords of Change nature and Zinch in general, it should come as no surprise that them and Nurgle do not get along. And Nurgle and his followers believe in the cyclical nature of the universe, that everything that begins must end, everything that lives must die, and that every creature, big and small, has a predetermined role to play in the inevitability of entropy. As Zinch and his Oh, right, right, right. So <clears throat> we watched another video where they were talking about the the chaos gods and how they're all like th like th they're they're evil but they have a purpose to that evil and nurgle was like the cycle of life and death but Sinch was like the to break the cycle to like like break the wheel kind of thing so lords like of change reject that notion that there is no cycle that life can go in yeah. any direction that it chooses that there are no constants and there is only change. I realized that this video has had a pretty serious tone and now that we've had a bit of time to learn a bit more about all four of the greater demons, I want to take a moment to kind of relax a bit and have a bit more of a casual discussion about one thing in particular that tends to pop up in Warhammer discussions pretty frequently. And that's- You are definitely Nurgle from How Much You Loop. Shut the fuck up, dude. Okay, dude, shut the fuck up. Okay, you know what? Who's looping? You're fucking looping. Okay, because the only thing you do is type stupid shit just over and over again. If you were a roller coaster, you'd be the stupid shit roller coaster just over and over and over and over again. Quite simply, which one of these dudes is the strongest? Good. And God. that's quite simply which one. of these dudes is the strongest. Now many Warhammer fans claim that it is the Bloodthirster, as the lore specifically tells us that at this moment in time, Korn has seen a resurgence and is considered to be the most powerful god. Which makes sense when you think about it, Korn's power is directly related to how much violence, hatred, wrath, and bloodshed exist in the universe at any given moment. Dude, and this is a really cool fucking piece of art. Dude, you could put like a death metal fucking band name over this, dude, and you'd sell this album, dude. And in the grim dark future where there is only war, violence is not in short supply. However, we also know two important things. One is that all of the gods at one point or another have been considered the strongest as their influence ebbs and flows. And two, Time is a meaningless concept to the gods, for they have always existed and never existed simultaneously. Meaning in a bit of a ma- Oh. So the, they never exist at the same time? Oh, I thought it was awesome, Shion. Yeah, 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 Black Flag. I thought it was awesome. Macro perspective, <clears throat> they are always existing simultaneously at their strongest and weakest point. All four of the greater demons are fully capable of doing what their siblings do, just in different ways. Like when it comes to their ability to corrupt, Zinch is often considered to be the master manipulator. But Slanesh is equally skilled in this department. Their deception just takes on different forms. It All right, man, I'm just going to say it. I, I I don't give a shit how big Slanish's dick is, dude. I'm a tier three only fan sub, dude. 100% without hesitation. Okay? Without hesitation. That's me. One a bit more horny than the other. And Nurgle spreads his corruption through his diseases, and considering the virulent nature of pathogens, you are it's alive. a foregone conclusion that such corruption will have no trouble spreading from person to person, or from world to world, or sector to sector. Acorn's corruption functions in the exact same manner, it's just not as obvious. The hatred is a disease, it is a sickness of the mind and the soul, and it is profoundly contagious. It spreads on a personal scale from individual to individual, or on a grand scale through radio, vox, pick feeds, or if we want to use a real world example, even our social media feeds. 
It mimics how a disease becomes a pandemic when it mutates to infect water supplies or become airborne. I mean, honestly, anyone who spent even a minute on the internet over the last five years should be well aware of just how easy it is for rage to transmit <gasps> across channels. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking true, bro. Holy shit. <clears throat> that's so fucking true, dude. <laughs> Not wrong. When it comes to physical combat, however, a bloodthirster may be the physically strongest and able to inflict the most damage with a single swing of their blade, but the Great Unclean One can tank more damage than any of the other greater demons, and fights with plagues and diseases in a war of attrition. And meanwhile, the Keeper of Secrets can run circles around all of the other ones, while the Lord of Change fights primarily with magic. And when it comes to magic, if I'm being honest with you, it's as powerful as the author needs it to be for any particular story. I personally think any attempt to rank them is ultimately meaningless, as their positive and negative traits combine together to come to a sum of zero. It may not be the most accurate way of looking at things, but I've always kind of thought of the greater demons in terms of RPG characters. You've got your tank, your fighter, your rogue, and your caster. No okay. one combatant in the arena match okay. is objectively superior. They all have different strengths and weaknesses. One may rise to the top at one point or another, but then those patch notes come in and the ma That's kind of a cool way to think about it, honestly. They're like different classes almost. Meta shifts and everyone respects or re-rolls. By this simple analogy- They didn't say healer. Yeah, yeah it's because you don't need a healer. You have laid out. I believe that the- And they're on strike even if there were healer. True threat respects or re-rolls. By this simple analogy I've laid out, I believe that the true threat is when the need arises for all of these demons to unite together, to set aside their hatred for one another <laughs> and focus on a singular- <laughs> Yeah, this is really funny. What are they playing? I'm, are they playing sorry, dude? They're playing sorry? Their objective of destruction. Anyone who's ever fought a- Nah, dude, you know what? You know what would completely destroy this friendship right here? You know what one game would completely destroy this friendship is Monopoly. Okay, like when you play Monopoly and you and you bankrupt. Oh god. <laughs> it's like me and Lionel were playing Monopoly. And he landed on my fucking boardwalk with a hotel. <laughs> You fucking idiot! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, he's fucking bankrupt, bro. <laughs> fucking bankrupt! That's you! <laughs> Should have showed up to the court hearing. And it did guess I'm gonna skip it. Yeah, cause that really turned out well for you, fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, dude, if you were to play Monopoly here, all of these, uh, greater demons would fucking hate each other. Raid boss before knows you're not going to do it with a doom stack of rogues or fighters. You need a balanced team. I honestly don't think it's a controversial statement to say that chaos undivided is substantially more dangerous than any of the gods acting on their own. The four ruinous powers uniting against a common enemy and a full party of greater demons assembling is apocalypse given form. But what do you think of all this? Which one of the greater demons is your favorite and why? Do you disagree with my statement that they are all equal? Or do you think- I think it's the actually a good- patron God No, I think that's a good way to think about it all, um, honestly. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think it's a really good way to think about it. They all have strength and, strengths and weaknesses and like their their different like classes kind of. I mean, I like them all. I mean, my favorites my favorites like Nurgle stuff and then probably and then probably Corn like just aesthetically, aesthetically. Um dude, who am I kidding, dude? My favorite's Slanesh, dude. Oh, my favorite is Slanesh, bro. <laughs> God is distinctively more powerful than the others. 
Let me know all of your thoughts and questions in the comments section down below. I read just about every single one of them and I try to answer as many of them as I can. I always get the best suggestions from you guys on stuff that I should read into. As although I spend pretty much every day of my life reading Warhammer books, I'm still learning new things each and every day. Dude, this Anyways, was a great video. Big thanks to everyone who supports the work that I do, and I will catch yeah, you. Yeah, this the was next a great one. video, man. Yeah, this was super good. Uh. In the Warhammer Forty. The Chaos Gods are the good guys. Oh my God! Thirty minutes. Holy fuck! We don't have time for this one. Yeah, that was a really good video, man. That was really good. AI Chrono Trigger. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, decent, decent, decent. Not bad. Okay, no, that's pretty good. Yo, that's pretty good. <laughs> Frog's the best, dude. What? You don't like Frog? Boo, it's AI. Everything AI sucks. Boo, get off the stage. Man, come on. That's pretty good, bro. <clears throat> Eh, eh, ah, Robo doesn't look too good. Nah, Robo doesn't look too good. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's that's Marl's dad. Okay, okay. Ah, I mean, yeah, he's yeah, he's an old guy, old king. All right. Good God. I have a new queen now. I was good. Dude, this isn't even the right color, bro. This isn't... <laughs> this, is, this isn't even the right color. Why is this blue? Oh, that's... Uh, yo, that's not bad. Who's that, Melkor? Melkor, right? That's not bad. Uh, wait. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who is this? Is this supposed to be... No. Like, Queen Zeal? Okay, like this is this is this is how you know. <laughs> I don't even care that like or okay, let me let me rephrase, man. <laughs> I don't even know who this is, but I'm glad that this image is here. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. <laughs> I don't know who that's supposed to be. Queen Zeal, maybe? Oh wait, who the fuck was that? Oh, that was um ah the guy at the grave Toma, I think. Yeah, that's supposed to be Toma, right? I think that's pretty decent. I think that's pretty decent. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Dude, this looks like, uh, this looks like, uh, Fucking, uh, the guy from Final Fantasy IV that cast Medio, a Balthazar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, uh, okay, okay, yeah. Jesus, what in the fuck? Okay, what is that? Uh, what is that? See, I'm thinking it's like 
Lavos in the like when you go inside and he's got the heads or the tentacles or whatever connected to the head. I don't know. Oh, is this Magus? Okay. All right. All right. Alright, okay, okay, hold on, I'm gonna nitpick a little bit. I'm gonna nitpick a little bit. Okay, alright, hold up. Alright, so I think okay, I think Magus looks 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 good. But the problem is is this needs to be purple. Like dark purple. And also this scythe is like way fucked. Like there's no way that this scythe is supposed to be like all the way down here. But this is pretty good. I think if this was instead of uh, a darker purple instead of a pink or well, I guess. It, okay. So if this was like a darker purple instead of a pink purple, I think it would be better, but I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. That's all right. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay, that's 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 not bad, but his eyes are a little fucked up. Okay, but it's not bad. That's not bad. All right, no, that's not bad. <laughs> okay, okay, yo, that was my favorite thing, man. <laughs> he would be like, Oz, Ozzy's in a pickle, and then he'd fucking leave, dude. <laughs> that always reminded me, dude. Okay, Ozzy had similar characteristics to Kefka because he had like that, that saying Ozzy's in a pickle. He'd say that. And then there's this one part in final fantasy six, man. It was the, like, I've talked about this on stream before, but it was one of the funniest things a villain has ever said. Like it was one of the funniest things a villain has ever said. And I don't know why I think it's so funny, but this was my very first, my very first realization of Twitch chat. It's just at the time, because I was so young, I didn't know. But there's this part where Kefka is like, uh, or sorry, um, Sabin is like, Kefka, wait. And Kefka like turns around and he's like, wait, do I look like a waiter? And he just dips. He just fucking dips, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, God, his ass, dude. And you know, Cyan is sitting there just like, <clears throat> You know, Syed is just, dude, he's like, nah, man, he, dude, he, dude, he, he fucking got you, dude. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say, bro. <laughs> See you, clown. Uh, no, nah, that's kind of bad. That's supposed to be Slash. I think it would be okay if he didn't have the mustache. Slash didn't have a mustache. And also, Slash was more purple than pale. Like, I... Eh. Eh. I mean, it's okay. He's got pointy ears and he's bald. I guess I got that right, but, you know. Is that, okay, that's Mac, I guess. I oh, that's... um. That's Gatto or Gato or yeah, Gatto. I'm Gatto. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was um, what was the fucking song? He'd be like, shit. That guy. My name is Gatto. I'm made of silver joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't a cat, bro. He's not a cat. This is like Catto. This isn't Gatto. Dude, Gatto didn't look anything like a cat. And he sure as fuck didn't have whiskers, bro. Is that the Chancellor? Okay, that's not bad. The cha okay, that's not no no no. That's good. That's good. That's good. 
That's good. The Chancellor's good. Gatto means cat. No. Gatto means gatto. Okay. Okay, we're talking about American. It doesn't matter. Gatto means cat in some weird language that isn't free, probably. No, we don't give a shit about that. Okay, we're talking about America. Okay, bro? Gatto means cat. Okay? <sighs> Fuck out of here. This is, this is, um, this is good. This is a good, um, I actually didn't know Gatto meant cat. <laughs> This is a good chancellor, though. No, that was pretty. That was decent. That was cool. That was that was cool, man. That was cool, dudes. Concept trailer for Chrono Trigger. All right, all right, all right. We gotta, we gotta. No, 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 guys, guys, guys. We have to watch this. We gotta watch this. Back rooms, back rooms, man. Back rooms. Uh, we have to. We gotta watch this, and then, oh, man, I've already been streaming for a while. Holy shit. Okay, two and a, okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, we have guys. We gotta get to this, man. <laughs> we gotta build this. Okay. <laughs> We gotta build this. All right. So we're gonna do back rooms and then we're gonna build. All right. All right. I promise we'll do another rack day like somewhat soon. Probably this week. Okay. No painting, I see. No, I, I would like to get to painting today, but it just depends. Depends on how long we take to um Oh yeah, we didn't get flea. Yeah, we didn't get flea. Dude, why did I spam that? The lie meter. The lie meter. <laughs> I, I'm so funny. <laughs> lie. <laughs> lie. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Oh. 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 Okay, that's the back rooms. It is incredibly cold. Don't be able to find your action. I'm trying to see if the people in the hitting system down here would be nice. Uh, Guy of hypothermia. Oh, it's kind of creepy. He's just standing there like that. Uh-huh, Trevor. <clears throat> Police are stopped in the bin right now. Make sure to get the red one, right? Because, yeah, the green one reads. Control. It's, like, crazy how non-scary back rooms are when you have, like, other people there. It's just, I like, I mean, I know that's obvious, but it's like, dude, when you are alone in the back rooms, it is fucking terrifying. At least to me. Okay. Oh, they're trying to go like... Ooh, okay. You know what's up there? Oh, just normal shit. Okay. Dude, these sound like something, man. What do they sound like? A wah 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 wah. Uh, something on a telephone. What cartoon is that from? What is the wah 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 on the telephone? What is that? Is that Charlie Brown? That's Charlie Brown? Okay. Yeah, okay. I know I recognize it somewhere. And before anybody says it, Charlie Brown, bottom left. Shut the fuck up. Uh, there's no installation on top, and I'm seeing a bunch on the floor above. 
Oh wow! Could you well, like? Ventilation as well. You see that? You see the vents? Yeah, okay. Yeah, some of it's insulated, I think. Are they gonna try to drill up? Well, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a vent guy. I don't know. Oh, it looks uh, no rust. I think. Huh. More than one uh, floor, and I use that term loosely. We then attempted to cut power to the nearest fluorescent light fixture, a standard troffer. However, we were unable to isolate the power source, and the conduit remained live, despite the absence of any visible external power supply. Oh, wow. The source of electrical current remains unknown at this time. Using an insulated toolkit, we carefully isolated the light fixture from its electrical conduit, uh, extracted the troffer from the ceiling, and transported it back inside, uh, back to standard for analysis. Um, and they added a, a 0.5 meter sample of conduit was also taken uh, with all exposed wiring safely secured afterwards in the ceiling. So the ceiling tile extracted measures 1.27 meters by 1.14 meters, which is certainly not standard, um, but it's composed primarily of uh, mineral fiber, uh, it seems normal in composition, has a fissure and texture with uh, mild tegular edges. So after initial analysis, the, the composition of the tile estimated is um, around 60% mineral wool, which is uh, fibers of amorphous silicate, um, usually derived from, uh, I think it's basalt or swag, um, around 20% uh, expanded perlite. And which is, uh, I am visibly confused. Uh, primarily of silicon dioxide and aluminum oxide, and the rest is a uh, you know, unfined mixture of um, silicate material. Silicon. Starch, is that like what they use in titties? Um, and, and some organic fibers derived from plant materials. Um, recycled cellulose, really. Uh, but the light troffer housing is made of galvanized steel coated with a thin layer of zinc. Inside, the fluorescent bulbs are non-standard in proportion, most closely resembling T12 bulbs. So the four bulbs measure 1.2 meters in length with a diameter of 38.1 millimeters. Uh, we're extrapolating here at 51, but that bulb and we assume the rest contain the uh, fallen components. Phosphor coating, the calcium uh, hemophosphate for converting ultraviolet light to Holy visible light. Holy fuck! Um, mercury vapor a, in, in, in a small quantity, which facilitates the, the ultraviolet light emission. Um, argon gas, and again, this is all standard for these uh, fluorescent bulbs. Um, but that's an inert gas that assists with, the, uh, with regulating the current and, and really starting the bulbs. Um, and they... they are connected via a G13 base, which is a standard two-pin base with... So it's exactly like our world, for except for they so don't know the source of the energy. The fixture is PVC insulated copper, which appears standard. Again, uh, the prismatic diffuser over the bulbs is made of polymethyl methacrylate, uh, which is, again, commonly used for its light diffusion properties. I mean, it's, it's, it's what we have in the building here. Very standard. Okay. Um, but we, we also inspected the ballast, which is of the electromagnetic type. Um, there's, there's some variation in how they're being manufactured now. But this one contains a laminated steel core and uh, copper windings designed to operate at 60 hertz. So the ballast emits a prominent 120 hertz hum. This seems to be the case for the majority, if not all, of the lights in the complex that we've assessed thus far, um, mostly just through, through uh, simple curing, but, but this is, is, is due to uh, magnetostriction um, and core evaporation. The, but the noise may be exacerbated by loose lamination plates or degradation of the insulating potting material over time. Um, so it's definitely an indication that this has been running for a little bit. I mean, despite its age, the, the ballast is functional. Um, how do they know how old it is? It was built for a, a non-standard space, not something you find in the majority of offices or uh, they probably just said it i'm too stupid to understand spaces, though that's something that that's not something i'm too familiar with truthfully now we, we did find so material compositions all seem expected or or, or we don't we don't know what to expect here they they, they seem everything we've looked at so far um again this is rudimentary early testing but everything seems pretty congruent with what you might expect from 
one of the uh, the tropper lights you could pull out of the ceiling in, in this in this building right here. Um, so nothing too strange, but but it's maybe that maybe makes things seem stranger because um, we look mm. at these lights and um, let me see. Right, so I'm taking it. So several labels um, were marked on on various components of the the tropper. Um, so on the ballast, we, we found uh, markings for uh, marked as a universal ballast, uh, type A, manufactured in 1975 with serial number A75234X. Um, the tropper itself is stamped uh, 3X432, um, and that was manufactured in uh, 1973 in Reading, Pennsylvania. And so all this shit came from... Uh came from like real or i guess our world and it is ul listed <clears throat> um and the bulbs um were manufactured by um sylvania um and they marked uh, f40 sw sylvania uh that's soft white um with no visible date information uh, it's left blank but it is noted as made in the usa hell yeah it is baby the u.s a United States of America. That's fucking right. Don't so fucking forget I mean, it. Though outdated in design, the fixture appears fully functional. The the stable operation of all light fixtures in the subdivision points to a continuous, uh, potentially autonomous power source, which uh, still remains unidentified. Um, we're doing what we can. Um, the materials used are durable with minimal visible wear, suggesting they were built for long term possibly indefinite use. So this concludes the initial findings. Um, further investigation is necessary to determine the source of Factory worker Kama Kaley recently That was good. That was good. <clears throat> I didn't understand half of that, but it was very well presented and very creepy. No, guys, we, we can't. Th this isn't a rack day, guys. We've already racked it for like fucking two hours and 40 minutes, bro. That's good. Okay. Uh, God, we can't do another racked. We can listen to this, though. Something new for the collection. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We are going to build this now, guys. We are going to build this now. We're going to build this now. Okay. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashlight in my mouth. Chill. Okay, bye. No one cares, Tyler. Okay, bye. No one cares, Tyler. Okay, bye. No one cares. Jesus fucking Christ. Good Lord. Black more and more like Bandmore. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus fuck. I would proceed with haste lest my report finger triggers. What the fuck is that? Lest? Who the fuck uses this? What are you, from the 16th century? Jesus Christ. We got a monocle and a top hat, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Get with the times, nerd. Jesus, fuck. All right. Here, watch this. Uh, I am going to. I am going to go get my supplies. I am going to get set up. <clears throat> We are going to build the great unclean one. Boo! Oh, boo! Get out of here! How dare you boo during bins? How dare you? Woo! 
Okay. So fucking cool. Okay, I'm gonna go get my shit ready, guys. I'm gonna go get my shit ready. But before I go, Dyer, thank you for the resub. Five months. Jorik with the three months. Bandit with the five months. Came on with 22, almost two years. Ashen with the seven. Floofy with the five months. Yaiga. And Sweet John with the 69 months. Nice, brother. 33 months. Uh, Demo with the eight months. Thank you guys again for the resubs. I'm going to go get my shit together, man. I'm going to set everything up, and then we're going to build. We're probably going to, we're definitely going to build. We're going to finish the build, depending on how long that goes. We're going to prime it and then put the first, the first like base coat on. BRB. Yeah, you guys want to see my headlamp? Oh, let me change category. What is it? Miniatures and models? Okay. You guys want to see my head? My headlamp? Fisher. Actually, let me throw on some uh, 
Uh, let me throw on some. Oh my God, dude. We got so much stuff. We got so much stuff, dude, to react to, man. Everybody's releasing these ghost videos, man. Um, um, oh shit. Okay, here we go. Let's let's just uh, let's just watch this for now, or let's just listen to this for now. Um, property. Yeah, I just watch this for now. Let me set up. Set this camera up. There we go. There we go. Oh, check out my new play mat, guys. Look at this shit. Isn't that fucking cool? That's cool, right? Yeah, that's a play mat. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? All right. Keyboard tray. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. My lord. Your bald head shines like the star in the heavens above us. Thou art blessed to be with thine bald head from thine baldo. Praise be the shine. dudes Great unclean one. Holy shit. Okay, all right. All right, boys, which one are we making? I want to make this guy, Rodigus. I want to make this guy. Your chaos demon army. Dude, that's sick. Yeah, I wanna I wanna make this guy.
Dude, this guy is fucking gross. Oh, he's got a bell. I want to give him the bell. <laughs> I want to give him the bell, bro. I honestly just want... I want to give him the bell plus the chains. And then this head. Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I mix these parts together? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I want this hand. No, no, no. I want the tentacle hand. No, I want the tentacle hand. I think the tentacle hand is, is cooler than these chains. But I do want the bell, though. I think the bell is cooler than the staff. I want the bell. Okay. So what if I... So, like, basically, I really like this face. So I want this head, plus I want the tentacle hands, and I want the bell. Because I, I really like this face because I think it's the most gruesome. Rodicus can have flail as equipment. Okay. Can, can I use the bell? I just think the bell is cooler than the staff. What do you guys think? Yeah, I just like the bell. Bell plus... I want the... Well, the thing is I want the tentacle hands because, like, look how cool the, the gradient is on the tentacles. Like, the white into blue. I want to do that. And also, what's the what's the mouth? What are our what are our gut options? We have mouth plus. You guys want guts or you want mouth? I think the mouth is better because you could do more with it. Like the guts, the guts, for example, right here, it's just like you're just gonna paint. Yeah, so basically for the guts, you're just going to run like red and then do a, do a contrast red over it. I think the mouth. Yeah. So let's do... I mean, honestly, you really can't go wrong with any of these options. Um, so let's do this head. I think this head's the coolest. And the reason why I think this head's the coolest is because you get you get horns plus cloth. And I really like this piece of I really like the cloth. Oh, you can pretty much mix anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not yeah, I'm not like I don't plan on playing on any tournaments or anything like that. Dude, look at this fucking tentacle hand. Dude, the tentacle hand has a fucking mouth on it, bro. That is fucking awesome. Yeah, there's a little nurgling or whatever. Right there. Okay. All right. All right, so we're going bell, tentacle hand, mouth. So basically, we're just making Rodigus, but we're giving him a bell instead. Because I think the bell's funny. I like the bell. Wait, Glotkin? Okay. All right. Holy. Dude, look at this. Oh, my God. God, look at his hand, dude. That's his... Dude, this guy's gonna be so big. This is the my biggest model ever. Dude, look at that face. Holy shit. Look at that face, man. Wait, Glotkin? Okay, let me look him up. Glotkin. Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy is cool. Ugh.
Yeah, that guy is cool. Oh, wow, I really like this arm. That arm's fucking sick. Yeah, okay. Oops. Okay, we are building. Oh boy. Um, we need one, two, and six. Jesus, man. Holy fuck. Look at this base, man. Jesus. All right. One, two, and six. Uh, this is probably one of them, right? can't find the number for this one. Yo, hey, Pledge. Thank you for the resub. 38 months. Uh, I'm just using glue. I don't have hot glue. No. I just have this. Is this not... Is this going to be enough? I just have that. Can you build this mini as Kumachama, please? To me is great, okay. Nah, that's fine, I'll put a lot on, yeah. I actually ordered some more, because I spilled half of it the other day. Yeah, that sucked, man. The smell was so potent that my roommate from upstairs and across the house smelled it and thought there was a gas leak. Our envoy is diseased. We need a Suna for our envoy. An update on the kingdom. Killer Bean is tearing it up. We still have squatters within our borders. They are plaguing our residential districts. The birds are shitting on everything. What are your orders? Oh, fuck. Um... Okay. I want Okay, I want you to send the tech priests to the envoy. They will replace his diseased parts with mechanical uh enriched machinery. So then the envoy shall be the Vampiris Mechanicus. Holy shit, that sounds badass. Dude, <coughs> Ath will be a vampire mechanicus. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah, praise the Omnisaya. Heal the envoy, Vampiris Mechanicus. Dude, what is this? I mean, I know this is probably the piece. But I don't see a number here. Am I missing one? Uh, I mean, this is it, right? Like this has to be. Yeah. Whatever. I'm just taking it out.
Um, okay. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the... I mean, it wasn't numbered, but, like, this is... This has got to be the piece, right? I mean, this piece is fucking huge. It says this is piece one. One, two, and six. I don't see a number one here. One, okay, here's three or 13. Oh, here's six. Okay. Uh, I, that's the thing, I'm not confident on the picture. I'm scared, man, I've never, I've never built something this big before. There's six. Oh, here's three. See if these line up. Uh, six. isn't the piece. I mean, it looks like the piece. Is there another big fucking piece like this? I don't think so. Oops. So this piece right here is 13. That's not it. And this piece right here... This piece isn't numbered. Oh, no, this piece is 15. So this has to be So here's one. Wait, did I take two out? Six. Oh, this is three. Oops, I took the wrong piece out. Okay, I need two. Here's four. Right, here's two. Yeah, I took the wrong piece out. I'll just put that one over there. I took out three, just remember that. Let's, uh, let's file these down. I wonder how long this guy's going to take to build. I mean, ideally we start painting today, but if we can't, it's okay. Uh, Alright, that piece looks okay. Vampirus Mechanicus. 
Wait, what were the other problems? What were the other problems in the fucking kingdom, bro? Yo, Ghost, thanks for the resub. FB Pong files boldly. Thanks for the 19 months, man. Would you receive Hawk Tua from an undisclosed individual through a hole in the wall? I await your response. Oh, squatters and bird shit everywhere. Okay. Uh, just, dude, you know what, man? You know what? Uh, dude, you know what? Okay. Um, put the... Uh, okay. Send the pox, the pox walkers into all the residents that are having the squatter problem and just stink them out. Just stink them out. Have them wet fart on their door. Farting on squatter's door. <laughs> That'll get them out of there. Dude. We did that the last time. What? <laughs> and it didn't get them out? Really? Oh, fuck me, man. I don't have ideas. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. 12k streaming setup, by the way. What? Huh? Farting on what? What? Farting on who? 6k? 6k farts? What? Okay. Oh, okay. That fits on there nicely. Okay. Ah, that kind of sucks, man. This piece didn't line up. See that shit? That piece, that piece didn't exactly line up the best. There's like not much I can do about that. That's okay. That's fine. Man, I gotta tell you though, fucking putting together that beast of Nurgle was actually a massive pain in the ass. Like, no joke. It was really fucking bad putting that fucking piece of shit together. I mean, the setup's a lot better than it was originally, right? Like, this camera seems to be a little better. The light's better. You know, the only... Okay, Mav. Um, so, normally, I would time you out for suggesting something so stupid. However, I'm going to thank you because I want you to know that just the fact that you think that I have a hair dryer is very important to me. And I know, and, and I just want you to know that I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that you didn't automatically assume that I do not have a hair dryer. I just want you to know that, so thank you. I do indeed have a hair dryer. Well, it's not mine, but. Oh, 
All right, that looks like it's on there. Okay, so now I have to figure out how the fuck to get this piece on. Is this even the right fucking piece? I don't even think this is the right piece. I mean, it says it's six. This doesn't look like the right piece. Let me check again. I already took it out, right? Yeah, here's six. Here. This was three, I think. So it's this piece here. So. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, wow. It even kind of clips in there. Okay. 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 All right. I just don't want this guy to like fall apart. Imagine the rapturous sounds this thing's cheeks could produce with a fart. Concern. Why do you have to word it like that? <sighs> Building a second army, I... No, I um, I haven't really built an army, per se. Um, I'm more along the lines of just building ones that I think look cool. I haven't really committed to like an army yet, but I think if I did make an army, I would make uh, a Death Guard Nurgle army first, probably. Um, okay, so now I need seven. This guy is 
fucking massive. God, I put I put glue on spots that I wasn't supposed to. Oh God, I put glue right here. Fuck me, dude. That should that might be okay. Wish you would fill me with glue like that. Mm -hmm. Good lord, why do you type that, bro? Why do you type that? What are we painting? What are we building? The great unclean one. Very weird cousin, Vex. Put glue right here, but I think it'll be okay if I just put another layer. Uh, okay, so we have this. Okay, so we got that. So now we need eight. Uh, eight, ten, and eleven. This is some OnlyFans content right here, man. It's fucking good. Yo, hey Ari, thank you for the sub. Yo, welcome to the channel, man. 8, 10, and 11? Okay, so this is... So now we need 
11. Uh, is 11 really not on here? Oh, I already took out one. Wait. Wait, what? What? Eight. Oh, right, I'm stupid. I need eight. That's what I need. I need eight. Sorry, I'm done. Wait, who went live? Do I need a special permit to reflect? What the f no. What are you talking about? What is that? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why do you link me this shit? Oh my god. Oh my Why god. Why do you link me this shit? Oh yo, um... Yo, comrade. Hell yeah, great unclean one. Have you seen the great clean one, though? Google it. If not, I have not. Thank you for the $5 donation, man. I'm sorry that I didn't see that right away. Apologies. Do not Google that. Wait, don't Google it? Man, thank you very much for the for the for the dono, comrade. No, I no, I I don't um I don't have notifications. <clears throat> Excuse me. My notifications on YouTube, they <clears throat> Damn. Excuse me, sorry. They don't exactly go through my OBS. So I have to like click over to actually see it. Did you see it? <laughs> you know, whenever, whenever I don't see something, just ask me. Did you see it? Don't look it up, Strummer. Should I look it up on stream? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm coughing so much. All right, let's look at his foot. Ugh, look at that foot. You know what's crazy about this glue? I've actually seen some content creators say that this glue is fucking horrible. But in my experience, this glue is amazing, and the reviews that this glue has got has also been amazing. So I'm wondering why that those content creators said that this glue sucks. It's found it odd, basically. <clears throat> ah, maybe paid, yeah. Oh, by the way, have you guys used those Speed Army paint? Second door, so I, I, I do have a lot of rings. I, I actually have more. I actually have more than this. These are just my simple ones that I wear. 
Yeah, it's the Tommy stuff. It's just stuff. Oh, God. Oh, God! Not again, bro. BRB. Not again. Oh. 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 God. No, it's not a code brown. It's a fucking code Tommy, bro. I kind of build for both soupy. Like I like I just get models that I like that I think look cool. I just get the models that look cool and uh, I just build those. Right now I'm in the state like cuz I don't cuz I don't play the game. I just enjoy building and painting. Oh, uh, yeah, this is probably good, but I'm just going to do this for good measure. I'll probably pick the game up at some point. Yeah, I'll probably... Ugh. Jesus, man. I'll probably pick the game up at some point, though. Uh, so this goes here. Ugh. All right. All right, this should be really easy. My inquisitorial guys is for a kill team. I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Um, so I'm still real. I'm still really new to all of this. This is my tenth model. I kind of made it a goal to myself uh, that this is. I was going to. I've painted. I've built and painted nine so far. This will be my tenth. Um, I posted a bunch of my pictures on my Instagram and my Twitter, as well as the 40K chat in my Discord. For any of you that are curious, I'm still learning a lot. Um, but I try to do something new every single model. Uh, this is kind of like my, my short-term goal. My end goal, I, I bought a uh, Mortarian because he's my favorite Primarch. Uh, well, he's my favorite Chaos Primarch. My favorite Imperial Primarch is Vulcan. And uh, anyway. This is actually like really sick. I can like double glue this guy, man. This is cool. Anyway, so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to like work up to Mortarian, 
Uh, I'm going to try and make Mortarian my 20th model. So this guy's my 10th, and then I would like to have Mortarian be, uh, be my 20th. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. I'm still, I'm still new. I'm still learning a lot, but after I build, after I build and paint this guy, I'm going to make a, uh, uh, I don't know if it's a review. I, I don't know if I would call it like a review. Um, I think I will call it more like an experience video, but, uh, I'm basically going to talk about my all the ones that I've done. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna explain my thought process behind them. Not necessarily because I did anything like impressive, but just as a new, just as a completely brand new uh, painter, I guess. Uh, because before this, I've never, I have never painted before, before this. Um, I've never built anything before either, before this, so. So I guess basically the video would be just uh, from my perspective from a new player or from a new person because uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, people have been very helpful. Ooh, did it do this right? Yeah, that looks right. Uh, yeah, so eventually, um, um, yo, Mars, thank you, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, painting a Primark. Oh, I've been playing the shit out of Dark Tide. Yo, you know what's crazy, man? The more I play Dark Tide, the more, the more I realize, uh, Dark, the, like, the, okay. How do I want to word this nicely? Um, okay, so I've been playing the shit out of Dark Tide recently because the recent update was actually pretty fucking good. Um, yeah, the recent update was pretty good. Uh, I play a Psyker on Dark Tide. Um, but uh, it's kind of funny because the more I get into 40k, the more I realize how, like, watered down and... Um, I guess weak the 40 uh the dark tide is because like when you play dark tide you're basically playing the shittiest of the weakest characters <laughs> like imaginable <laughs> like after playing space marine 2 going from that to like this basic psyker you know or like a basic veteran is it's like uh it's it's like that feeling of when the hulk goes back to human form, you know? <laughs> yeah, this guy's large and in charge, bro. This is my biggest fucking model. This is the latest one I did. Look at the size difference. Bro, I'm not even complete and I'm bigger than you. This is the latest one I did. I was really happy with this one, man. some nice detail on this guy. Yeah. This guy was a motherfucker to put together, man. Ah, this guy took me... Painting these models t takes me a bit longer. Uh, because, well, one, I'm not... Um... I don't, uh... I don't necessarily paint the fastest yet, you know? Okay, so all this is done. Oh, thank, thank you guys a lot, man. Um, a base scene. Oh, do you mean like, do you mean like the actual base? Uh, so I haven't learned that part yet. I haven't learned that part. I want to. Uh, I want to, but... 
The thing with this, man, the more I realize with like building and painting this stuff is that there's so much information. There's so many little tiny things you can do that it's very overwhelming. And I try to focus on one or two things at a time. And over the nine models that I've painted, this being the 10th one, um, I, I basically, I'm trying my best to remember, like retain some of that knowledge. But I thought about, I've heard of people just like taking dirt or something like actual dirt and just like gluing it to that, gluing it to the base and priming it and then just fucking painting over it. Uh, so we need... So we need... I gotta flip it around. So I need 13, which is. I don't think it's this one. Maybe it is. Uh. Oh, God. Okay. I need to make sure that I'm making Roticus. Three, four, okay, so this is one of them, right? Yeah, so this is this piece, so this is three. So I need, I need four. Okay, so I need four. Four and five. Four, five, and two. How many mi miniatures have I bought? Uh, ooh. Um, okay, so you mean like you mean like sets? You can lie to us. No, so so like, do you mean sets? Because technically, so I bought like this Inquisition pack. Uh, or sorry, this Inquis Inquisitorial Agents pack. And that had like five. So I don't know if you want to count that as five. But I bought... So the one I'm working on, the starter pack, the, Inqui the Inquisitorial Agents pack, the Necron, the Beast of Nurgle is five. Remind me after this guy, and I'll show you all the ones that I've done. Yeah, remind me towards the end of the stream, and I'll show you guys. You guys could also just check my Instagram and my Twitter as well. I put them on there. Uh, Nurgle's my favorite Chaos God, yeah. yeah. Oh, I painted Death Guard too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, Trank. I like vaguely looked at what you posted, man. I'm gonna look at it more more later. But what I looked at looked really fucking cool. Yeah, so I think six. So I bought like Pooger Picker Chaos God for a Booger Picker kind of guy. Um, Keeper, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much for the resub. Five months. Oh, sh yo, holy shit. Jess, thank you for the 72 tier fucking two massive OG. Uh, 108 months. I'm sorry. 100, 108 months. I was like, wait, 72. Sorry. Sometimes that's, that's worded. It's worded weird. 108 months. Massive OG. Day one. Day one. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Keep rubbing the foot. Oh, you like that? You like that? Little ooh, 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 ooh. Gotcha, gotcha. Dude, you're so fu- Dude, shut the fuck up, man. Thank you guys very much for the resubs. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. So I gotta- So hold on. So let's see. Uh, this piece- Wait. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay. Um, this is an FP pot. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, okay. So... Alright. God, I got more glue coming, man. I gotta tell you, this guy is so much more enjoyable to build than that beast of Nurgle. That beast of Nurgle took me... I'm not even kidding, man. I'm so bad at building these. That fucking beast of Nurgle took me like two hours, man. Put the foot on. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, that goes in there a little weird. Okay. It's definitely gonna have to be glued. Okay. All right. That's really awkward. Yeah. 
him. Oh, shit. Damn it, I pressed too hard. Fuck. Oh, I can fix it. I can fix it. We're good. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's on there. It's on there. No, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're good. Press lightly. Lightly. Okay. Just buy a 3D printer. So. Wait, what was I going to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, you know that that um, painting line? Uh, Army Speed Painter? You guys know that? So, I bought... I bought some of that. And I was just messing around with it. And that has got to be some of the worst paint I've ever used in my life. Did I buy the wrong one? Because I had heard that Army Speed Painter, the first version of it, was absolute trash. And then they came out with a new one. And it was better. I'll just show you. I'll just show you guys. one is army painter fanatic that's the old one oh <laughs> okay okay yeah all right then i bought the wrong one well that fucking sucks because that paint is absolute fucking garbage that's the wrong one okay Okay, well, that actually sucks because... Man, what the fuck is this piece? Where does this go? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, this goes on like this? Oh, I see. I see. I've heard, man, I've heard so many people say that that's like the best paint. The problem is, dude, I have, I've already spent like fucking, I don't know, like $200 on fucking uh, Citadel, man. I gotta like run through all that shit first. Dude, I don't actually remember how this went. How did this fucking go? I mean, Citadel's good, though, right? I've heard a lot of people say that that Vallejo is also, like, super fucking good.
Yeah, I know they're more expensive for like basically no reason. Vallejo is what you use. Do they have like a set path? Can you like DM me some fucking uh, uh, some suggestions on what on the stuff you do or you buy? Like I'm not gonna rebuy all my paints though. <laughs> okay, so so okay, take the money out of the equation, okay? Citadel is good. If you take the money out of the equation, like Citadel is pretty good, right? Like the like just based on the quality of the paint. Look for eBay for paint. Okay, okay. I could be a hand no. Oh my god. Uh, you could buy box sets of the of the Leo off Amazon. Okay, so the problem is, man, is like, look, look, dudes, here, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. You see all that paint over there? <laughs> all right, I got all that paint to go through, bro. All right. <laughs> You got the Vallejo game color older line 70 paints. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Okay. About a month's worth. They do sell box sets of 16 for 48, which is twice the amount. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people recommend uh, Vallejo. I just put this on like this, right? Oh, I need 13. All right, hold on. 13. Yo, Curve, thanks for the resub. 25 months. And uh, Sven, thank you for the, the decade, man. The 10 months. Oof. All right. So basically, it's like this, right? Let's just put this on first. Let's put this on first because it's very obvious this is, that this goes here.
there we go. Let's hold this together. <clears throat> Daughters of Cain. We haven't had kissies today either. You are correct. My apologize. Please forgive the bald a man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's great, but we still want Kuma Chama. That's great. Akuma Achama. Uh, he's here. Kuma Chama's here. Yay, he's here. Kuma Chama. He's here. Yay. Thank you. Daughters of Cain are half naked elves who worship snakes. Okay. You just booed Kumachama, bro? What? What? Kumachama's dead, and you killed him. Is he insane? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> oh, he's back. All right, he's he's looking thick, dudes. Ugh, look at all that. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chatter. The sneakiest bear. They redeemed the boo. <laughs> Alright, hold on. So he's. This is really the piece? Did I do this wrong? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Holy shit, he's thick, dude. This is just one butt cheek. Bro, this is one butt cheek, bro. His butt cheek is bigger than a space marine. So it's basically all the edges. Okay. At least thick. Yo, Angerland, thank you for the resub. Two years, brother. Two years. New sub badge. Poggies. Uh, I'll go over here too. <laughs> Bro, that's that's really not very mature. Alright. 
I'm going to try. I'm just going to hold this for a second, man. I'm just going to hold it for a second. Doesn't play 14. Where's bear ears instead of rabbit ears? You're really turning into Zeppola. Dude, did you see those comments, man? Some of the comments on, on one of my latest fucking clips were like, this is Zeno's villain arc. He's gotten too much into painting. Dude, people are so fucking weird. They're like, he's gotten t into painting too much. He's abandoned 14. He's going to talk a bunch of shit on 14. I hope he goes away and never comes back. I'm like, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you people, man? Good lord. It's, dude, it's, it's fucking crazy, man. Like people on 14, dude, I swear it's so weird, man. Like there are some people that when the, the second that you do something else that is not 14, they're like, oh my God, did you quit? And I'm like, no, motherfucker. I've played this game for a decade, man. I'm not going to quit. I'm never going to quit. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Like, bro. I feel like people don't understand that 14 is literally designed for you to play other games. <laughs> Jesus, man. Fucking crazy. Right, what is this one? It's 18? Eighteen and fourteen. What is this piece? Oh, fifteen. Oh. Okay. Fifteen. I need. So what do I need? Eighteen. This is fifteen, right? Uh. Wait, I'm Wait, I'm sorry. I missed the the first time chatter. SM Orc. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi P even said. Wind bear say. The wind bear day. Boo. Yoshi P even said to play other games, man. What do I need? 18 next or some shit like that? What is it? 15 and 16. Yeah, I'm new to all this. Uh, he's new. New but cute. He's new. I might make a mistake. But he's new! Uh... Uh... 
Yeah, some people hate that. I actually... Okay, so when I first started to play Final Fantasy, man, I fucking hated that the game... The game was uh, designed in that way. I, I wanted to play 14 100% of the time. But... Uh, <laughs> the longer I play the game the more that I'm glad that it's not actually designed that way <laughs> because it gives me time to do other shit I'm just not an old school MMO player anymore man like I just I don't want to grind for stupid shit I don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of time on a piece of gear in a fucking video game man I don't want to, like, I'm not saying I want everything handed to me. That's not what I'm saying. But, like, you know, I'll put it this way, man. I've played a lot of old school MMOs where I have grinded and grinded and grinded and spent so much fucking time. And the reason why that I didn't really mind it at the time was because I had nothing better to do in the first place. But now... You know, like, I'm 39, man. My time is very, very, very fucking important to me. And I think that spending that amount of time grinding away uh, is fucking stupid. And uh, my time is more important than a fucking game. Uh, so my... Like, dudes, like, I've spent literally, like, <laughs> I've spent a year trying to get a single piece of gear before. I will never forget the Commander Bakarma's spear. I will never forget that miserable pile of shit weapon, man. Because you had to have it as a gladiator. You fucking had to have it. And it took me so fucking long. Like, I never even got it on original, like, classic Ion, man. Like, I never even fucking got it. That's how fucking bad it is. Here's the thing, though, man. I feel like games that games that you're you know you're okay with wasting your time on, then that's not time wasted, right? Because you're having fun. But dude, like there comes a point. Like I played a like I played a shit ton of MMOs, man. Especially Korean MMOs. I played a lot of Korean MMOs. And dude, for those of you that know or that have played Korean MMOs in the past, you know how abysmal the drop rates are in those fucking games, man. Like, you know. And I love 14's design, man. I fucking love it. The last, the last Korean MMO, uh, uh, MMO I played was, uh, was actually a classic Ion on EU. And dude, just to give you an idea, okay, on how much time I spent playing that miserable pile of shit. I would wake up at 9 a.m. just so I could get all my dailies done before I had to go exercise, before I had to stream. Like, I'm not even kidding, man. I'm fucking not even kidding. And I would do that for three hours and then I would, so I'd play for three hours before I exercised and streamed. And then at night I would play for another three hours. So I was dedicating six hours a day and that was, that was casual. Okay. 
That was casual, guys. Six hours a day in a Korean MMO, that's casual. When I played hardcore, I played like fucking like 10 to 12 hours per day. So, like, my mentality is coming from just, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm literally fucking over it, man. What the fuck is this? Oh. Holy shit, dude, he is thick as fuck, bro. Jesus Christ. I actually love the way 14 is designed, man. I really do. I don't know if I could play another MMO that wasn't designed like that. I'm, I mean, okay. Well, let me rephrase. Uh, I, I know I could play another MMO. Like, that's not an issue. Um, but I don't know if I'd like it as much. Put it that way. I'm not saying other MMOs are bad, either. Oops, I think I put blue on the wrong fucking part. Let's put it on both. Just saying, man, I love the content cycle, dude. You, like, play the shit out of it for, you know, a couple months, and then you take a break, and then you play the shit out of it. I I'm... You know what, man? Like, I don't even consider it a break, honestly. Like, I don't even call it a break. I don't even want to, because it's not a break. It's like you're on maintenance mode. Does that make sense? Like, you just go on maintenance mode. This boy is large and in charge. Jesus. Yeah, I love being able to do other shit, man, honestly. Other MMOs, you find it fun at the beginning with friends and later end up quitting. Yeah, like, the thing is, man, is I feel like it's, um, I, I feel like this is one of those things that's like, it depends on the person and it also depends on, like, where you're at in your life so like let's take let's take a person that i don't know you know has their shit together but has nothing going on you know what i mean so like what i mean is you know like you obviously you don't have to you got like a sta you know like a stable job you know you don't have to worry about like too much other than like normal problems shit like that like those type of people whatever you can make time you know what i mean like you can you can like make time. You're not like too busy. But there's other people that are in a similar situation, but they're constantly busy. Maybe they got kids. Maybe they have like a hobby or something. Maybe they got that. You know what I'm saying? So like the people with like that type of stuff, they're going to have less time to devote to the game. Or let's just say, fuck it. You know, you have no job or you're in school and you're living at home and shit and you have a lot of time then you're probably going to want to play the game more. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on your situation, you know? You know? Let's say you're a young adult. You know, the only two things you care about is Jeep posing and gooning, you know? Then you're going to have a shit ton of time, you know? There ain't nothing wrong with that, man. So... Do you regret revisiting Ion again? No. No, I don't. Uh, 
I regret the Darwin incident. I regret that. Still feel bad about that. All right, so this guy. Oh, wow. They want me to put him on the base now? Holy. I mean, I can. Should I put this guy on the base now? I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. I miss Darwin too. Now nah, I want to paint first. I miss Darwin too, man. You know, I haven't talked to Darwin in a while, but he's still one of my best friends, man. Wait, put something inside him. Wait, what? What do you mean? Rolled up paper towel. Wait, why? Oh, no, no, I'm just curious why. Oh, I don't mind if I hold him while I prime. I'm just going to wear a glove. Yeah, I don't mind. Damn, this is a big ass fucking model, man. Holy shit. Yeah, it's massive. It's a joke in the hobby world that people store little knickknacks and big models in case they break. It's a super. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I'll, uh. Let me think about it. I'm not going to put it. Yeah, no, no. I'll put something inside of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, it's cool. I like that. I like that. Yeah, this guy's a Nurgle equivalent of the giant bird demon. Oh, right. Okay. Wow. Okay. 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 I. Huh. All right. Yeah, I don't want to put him on the base yet. Okay, so now we're getting into the head. I don't want this head. I don't want this head. And I don't want these guts. So I'm going to skip this page. I want... Ooh, I do want the bell, though. I want the bell. So I need to make the bell. Let's... Oh, wow, we're done with this. Uh, yo, let's, let's, uh, dark monastery. Where's that one? Is this it? Is this it? I don't think this is it. Whatever. This is cool sounding. Yeah, this is cool sounding. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so we want the bell. Yo, look at this little Nurgle, dude. Look at this guy, dude. That's like a chatter, dude. <laughs> He's bold. He's bold. XFFing. Bob. Three dits on screen. 
That's a bunch of tits. Minus, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. <laughs> Bell is filthy rats. 36, 30, 34, 35. Okay, 34 through 37. That's the bell. Sort this up a little bit. 34 through 37. Thirty-five. Where is thirteen? Okay, I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of little things to file that on. I think. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, I'll probably eat after I get done building this. Yeah. I'll just leave the heel alone. You said six, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, well, the bell is okay, I guess. Someone did put LED lights in the... Jesus, man. That's like a that's like a few steps above where I'm at currently. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for that. Although if this painting if painting this guy goes well, I'll have a lot more confidence. I will say this though, Ath. I really enjoyed painting that Necron and I want to paint more because painting glows is very fun. It is hard. It is very hard. I think painting a glow is the hardest thing I have done, actually. Now, granted, I haven't done like anything. Shut up, bitch! Okay. Um, I haven't done anything too, too crazy. Um. Yo, Barasutsi, thank you for the resub. Half a year. Thanks a lot, man. Serious with the 11 months. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Eight months. Holy shit, man. Barasutsi, eight months. Man, my eyes are... Dude, I gotta get LASIK again, man. <laughs> I gotta get fucking LASIK again. <laughs> my eyes are...
eyes are fucking horrible. Ooh. Okay. Wow, that fits right on there. What the heck? Okay. One stream is painting for me? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I, uh... I have been absolutely loving the paint streams, man. Oh, shit. This is good. Yeah, I haven't ventured into airbrush territory yet. Hit him with the smirk, Big T. Put this bell on. Oh. Wait, what? Bro, why does the bell ring? Am I dumb? Oh, I am dumb. Okay. Well, that fits right on there. Okay. You know what sucks about this man is there's gonna be like no fucking way in hell that I'm gonna be able to paint this fucking this thing inside here, man. There's no way. No way, man. Yeah, Bell's almost. Bell's almost. Huh? Wonder if the great unclean one has many questions for him to carry around the bill. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to paint that. That kind of sucks. Yeah, I can't paint it now. No, I can't. It's not even primed, man. I didn't know this beforehand, you know. Thank you. Thank you for the cheer. I don't exactly know what that cheer is for, but thank you. I appreciate it.
You know, no, I think I could get a paintbrush in there. I can get a paintbrush in there, bro. Yeah. We could cheer more if it were cheaper. <laughs> He never knows what the cheer is for, but always knows what the booing is for. You can't self-aware yourself out of being bold, bucko. Every time I read something that you say, I... <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, wait, do you hear that? I think there was a nasty, uh,
So it's like this. 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 And then that. Okay. Alright. All right. Wow. That like almost fucking snaps in there. That's kind of crazy. That's cool. Man, some of these models, man, are so fucking awesome to build because they make it really easy to build this shit, man. I mean, some of them are absolutely fucking horrendous, but I've only ran into one that was really bad. Titan models? Nah, I'm just building. Uh, I'm just building ones that I find cool, Addy. I haven't really committed to an army yet or anything. So then I guess this goes here, and then this goes here. Man, this soundtrack is pretty fucking cool, though. Or, well, not soundtrack, rather, but... Just dark ambient music. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there we go. Alright, now it's hand. The bell. What does this bell even do? Like, if I was to play the game, like, what is the purpose of this bell? And is this bell better than the sword? Or the other one? Calls decay reigns? No, yeah, I figured it was a weapon because it replaces the sword. Summons demons. Ooh, okay, okay. Announcing when he's about to fart.
It summons things. I just like it because it's a bell. Look at that. Dude, he's so thick, bro. <laughs> Rodicus summons decay reigns. He is like a weather decay demon. What the fuck? So it rains decay? That is metal as fuck. How do you hide the mold lines? Oh, like right here and stuff. Uh, very carefully. I have to like try to paint over it and just... Well, rot and shit and such. Holy fuck. Rain's six thousand... Six thousand dollar audio rain. What? Six K? Huh? Six K? Look at that Odyssey, dude. No, it's a heart. That's how I feel about you guys. It's a heart, and apparently there's a tongue in there. Blech. This is like the ugliest blep I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so we don't want any of this. We want the bell. All right, here we go. I don't want the staff. The head is 40 through 45. Okay, let's 40 through 44. Let's get this first. Which one's cooler, man? The guts or the mouth? The mouth is cooler, right? I want to get the mouth. I mean, the guts are cool too, but... I want the mouth. Yeah, yeah, I kind of want the mouth. What is it? 40? Oh, wait. 41, 40 through 44. Okay. 40 through 44. Is there 40 here? It's okay though. Honestly, I kind of want to let this, all this glue sit and the prime sit and all that shit. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but. Alright. 
so I have 40. What is it again? Oh, the other, the other side. Let me use the bathroom real quick. Man, this guy is... Dude, this hand is going to be fucking cool. Like, this hand is going to be fucking awesome. And this... His face, man. So, 40 and 41. It's not this one. Not this one. His hat... is this piece? Just like... Am I dumb? Oh, is that the eye? Am I dumb? Dude, what is this? So it's like... What is it like? Bro, I'm struggling. I see, I see. Okay, okay. So this... Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I got it. Alright. Okay. Um, yeah, put that. It's like, how does this go again? <laughs> I already forgot, dude. How does this fucking go again? I can't believe I did. I literally already forgot how it went. Oh, right, right, right. It's like, it's like this, I think. Or wait. Okay. Wait, is this a?
<laughs> Dude, I fucking put that thing together like three times and forgot each time. Oh my god. Crazy, man. second. F.P. Pong struggles boldly. F.P. Pong. F.P. Pong's boldly. Alright. So now I put the face on, right? Yeah, no, the, dude, this guy's fucking face is awesome. Oh my, dude, look at that, dude. That is so funny. Fucking metal. Dude, he's got like maggots falling out of his mouth, dude. This is so fucking cool. Holy shit, man. This is my favorite model I've ever put together. Like by far. It's not even close, dude. Shut up, bitch! Damn. Okay, all right, all right. Casual conversation, okay. Who would do such a thing to Zames? You drew, you drew Rodicus. You should post that in the Discord or something, man. We have a we have a forty k channel, man. Love seeing people's art. Also, if you paint anything, man. Yeah, everybody, everybody that's in here, like we have a we have a forty k channel in the Discord. You can just like post your your fucking models and shit, man, or like like upload to an Imgur. And then post that. Okay, so hold on. So we have this. 43 and 44. Okay. Oh my. Dude, that is so fucking cool. Dude, that is so fucking cool, man. Bro. I really hope I don't fuck this model up. Because this model is like my favorite model so far. I mean, now granted, this is my first big model, you know. But still, I'm just saying that. the same man this is sick as fuck <sighs> yeah I'm gonna do multiple streams Zaba finally a place for my Futa Marines to go <laughs> yo hey big thanks for the the 33 months, brother. Thanks a lot, man.
That's gonna be a motherfucker to paint, though. I'm telling you right now. That part in there. It's gonna be a motherfucker. I'm gonna have to paint that part very, 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 very carefully. this great unclean one in the room with it. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Unk? F? Wait, did we F? Attention. It is time for your daily question. In today's scenario, you are currently camping alone out in the Appalachian Mountains. You are exhausted, and you find what you believe is a suitable campsite. However, you spot what would appear to be an abandoned cottage. Do you option A, go to the cottage to be embraced by forces unknown and potentially a squatter. Option B, sleep alone in the cold wilderness to be embraced by <laughs> at night. You must answer. Dude, why... <laughs> Why is embraced in quotation marks? And why is embraced a part of both of the options? <laughs> Embrace a squatter or Bigfoot? Which is it? Uh. Uh. You must answer. Well, well, answer the chatter. Uh, a Bigfoot. Okay, all right, a Bigfoot. Option B. Option B, bro. Correct answer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Look at the mouth of the sea. That just goes right in there, right? Oh my lord. Okay, yeah, that just fucking goes right in there. Uh, okay, well, I guess this just this fucking thing just snaps in. So, okay, let me ask a question, right? All of these, like, parts, these interchangeable parts, they're all, like, different, like, used differently in the game, I would imagine. So, by going by that logic, is the mouth different than the guts? Like, does the guts have an ability or something that the mouth doesn't? Okay. <laughs> oh, you linked that earlier. Yeah, hold on. Plague flail, putrid vomit, bile blade, reverberating summons. Each time a model is destroyed by this weapon, you can select one friendly plague. That's so funny. A friendly plague bearer unit within 12 inches of the bearer and return one destroyed plague bearer model to that unit.
has the head ready. Dude, look at this fucking head, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That looks so fucking sick. Oh my god. It just goes right on, right? Yeah. Wow, we're almost done, actually. Okay, cool. Ooh, wait a minute. Did not snap on. What do I prime this in, guys? Death Guard or Black? These are the three primes I have. Death Guard, uh, Black, and White. Always black. Okay, okay, okay. Black, then do Zenithal Primer. What is... What is... Wait, so you would prime twice? You're a white primer, so get caught crazy. Huh? How can you later paint the inside of the mouth? Oh, you mean like all the way in there? You just need a brush, dude. <laughs> need a fucking... You just need a long brush. Honestly, though, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, I'm just going to, I personally am just going to uh, paint the inside of there with um, a Flesh Ripper uh, red. Wait, you take the mouth out? Yeah. yeah, I would... I'm just going to paint the inside of the mouth with, like, a brush. Because, I mean, I'll be able to see it. Because I can crank this bad boy up. Yeah, I'm just going to paint the inside with a... Yeah. With a longer brush. They also have this magnifying glass too. That's cool. I mean, I'm just, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just going to put some shade in there. If I, I don't know, I guess I could, you think I should remove this mouth? I literally just glued it in though. I'll just paint this first. If I paint the inside of the mouth first, it'll be fine. Because if I get the outside, like, with paint, it doesn't matter because I can just go over it. Yeah. God, man, so, so many cool... Man, this guy, this guy's going to be really, really, really fucking fun to paint, man. Man, this guy's so fucking... All right. Anyway. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's get the hand. So the hand is 48, 49, 50. Oh, man. Dude, this looks so fucking good. I've never been this excited for a model before. 
Is that what I said? Oh, guys, let me show you something real quick, man. I was, uh... Yeah, let me show you this. So, what made me think of this is the tentacles. Check this out. Um, I was practicing. Okay, so you see how. Um, okay, so you see how there's this guy's tentacles, right? So in the picture, in the picture right here, they go from like a turquoise at the base to white. So I kind of want to keep that theme. I, because I really like the, the turquoise going into the white. And I also want to keep his skin color like kind of greenish. You know what I mean? So I was so because of this, because of these tentacles and everything, I was practicing my gradient. So what do you guys think about these? Do you guys think that's do you guys think that's decent? Because I felt pretty confident in this. So I these aren't gonna be the the colors of the tentacle, but just the gradient in itself, right? So it starts at yellow, and then goes to orange, and then more of like a bright, like red, and then red, and then this one too. Uh, this one goes from man, yeah. This one goes from like a purple into like a pinkish into a dark purple into blue, and then there's one more that I have. This one. I like this one a lot too. So it starts a yellow and then goes like neon green into a green. Do you guys think I feel like I did a pretty decent job on these gradients. The purple to blue gradient is better. Okay, so Oh, you mean this one right here? Or wait, no no no, sorry. That's a fuck up. Oh wait, where the fuck did it go? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So basically, okay. Like th this this would probably never be on a tentacle, but the thing is is like I want like I didn't have any spare bases. You know what I mean? I didn't have any spare bases, so I was basically trying, so I was like testing, right? So like this one for example was this is actually five colors right here. This is five colors. This is a very light yellow into um, a neon green and uh, like a like a necron green in the middle and then I took this color and this color and mixed them and put them in the middle and then this is just a straight green and I took this color and this color and I put them in the middle so and then this one right here I kind of did the same thing except for I wanted this color right here to be somewhat similar to all the way down here so basically I was just practicing with gradients and I was seeing how many colors I could fit on the tentacle. You know what I mean? Um, and then, oh, I did this one too. Okay. So, okay. So if you can here, I'll cover that one up and I'll just point this one. So this one right here. I don't think it's as good as the others because uh, because of the bottom, because right here. But the top part is actually all dry brushed. So I tried to I tried to do two different techniques. I tried to do a dry brush, and I this is all. Oh, by the way, I guess I should have mentioned all of these were done with with blending on the model. All of these were done with blending on the model. So. Like I felt, I felt pretty confident in these. I felt like I did a decent job. So, so basically, I wanted to show you guys this because this is the same principle. Oh shit! This is the same principle that I'm gonna apply here. So I'm gonna start with that blue, with this. Um, uh, it's almost a green. 
uh, but this blue or gr this blue green turquoise, I'm gonna start at the base and then go out lighter, lighter, lighter until I get to white. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so that's my plan. So that's my plan for this. Um, of course. Oh, go fucking figure. The darkest druid, fucking redeemed boo. Go fucking figure. I knew you were gonna do that. Right when I'm happy about something, you have to come in and you just shit all over it. You just fucking shit all over it. Fine. Um. <laughs> That's fit. Dude, this is sick, man. Look at that. That's like a mouth, man, on that fucking hand. So this is 48. Yeah, this is cool. God, I can't wait to fucking paint this, guys, man. I can fucking can't wait. I, so you're saying I should prime black, right? So, okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you guys this question. Because... Um, I want to make sure I have the right mentality. If you always prime black, then you can go in with a base coat and you can dry brush the base coat. So like, for example, since this guy's like green or greenish, I'm actually going to make, um, okay. So you see how he's like lighter colored, right? I'm going to go for more of this green because I like this green better. Um, so I'm going to go for this color green. Uh, so it's going to be a little, it's going to be just a smidge darker than what he is. Um, but that's just because I, I like that color green better. Um, I think it's kind of like more gross and disgusting. Um, but anyway, so what I was saying was, so I could technically just prime everything in black and then go back later or sorry, sorry, sorry. I prime everything in black and then I, I could do like a, like my first base coat could just be dry brush of whatever color I want. Right. So I could dry brush it. Death guard green as my first, uh, like as my first, right? Like I could just do, ooh. Yeah, usually? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do. You know, um, you know, actually, let me, let me show you guys this. So I kind of did, I kind of did something cool. So I don't know if you can see it, but you see like these, uh, you see how it's a darker green? Uh, well, I'll, 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 I'll move my hand so you can see. But you see how there's a darker green in some of the spots next to the wounds? You know? So what I did, actually, for this was I... Oh, you can see it a lot on the tail here. Like on the tail right here. What I did was I actually painted his entire back a very dark green. And then I went back later and I dry brushed the lighter stuff. And then I even did another coat with, with a, a wet brush. So that way I figured that any spot that I missed. So like, let's say around these wounds uh, or pustules or whatever, it, it, uh, um, any spot that I miss that dark would come through and it would create the, the, um, the illusion of like that I actually went back in and like painted but I think I want to do that with this guy I think maybe I'm going to dry brush the whole thing like a dark green and then go back with a lighter green I think yeah the, the yeah yeah thank you the depth the depth illusion I think I'm going to do that. This is, what is this? 48, 49. Oh God. Wait, what? F 
49. What? Bro, where is 49? Dude, he's flipping, dude, he's flipping you off. Oh, here's 49, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try that method. I'm gonna see if it works. I mean, honestly, dude, like, worst case scenario, it doesn't work, and I just have to dry brush, like, or sorry, I, I just have to, like, put on, like, one extra coat or something. It's not really a big of a deal. The more that I paint, uh, yeah, I said this the other day, man, but this is gonna sound cringe, kind of, but the more that I paint, the more I realize that expression that Bob Ross uses, happy accidents, the more true that that is, man, because... You can fix a lot of your fuck-ups. You're right, that did sound cringe! <sighs> you know what wins, Coos? You know what? Okay, let me tell you... Let me tell you what you do. Okay, this is what you fucking do. You just watch the stream... Literally waiting. Literally waiting for me to say something and then whatever I say you say the opposite and then and then because the fucking chat for whatever is fucking brain damaged like you you will f oh god damn it you will no oh, I fucking clicked on my shut the fuck up I fucking clicked on my own stream Cause it was in my fucking history from you guys fucking linked it earlier and I fucking clicked on it, man. I'm so mad right now. <gasps> I went to my history tab. I went to my history tab, dude, and it was there. It's a face in his forearm. Oh, and then this goes here. Oh, wait. Bro, that is... Dude, this is fucking awesome. Holy shit, this is so fun.
that's fucking cool. Jesus Christ. That's so fucking badass. Yo, Asmund Mauled. Peace out, man. Have a good night. Yo, Navar, thank you for the sub. Holy fuck, man. I'm really sorry I didn't see that. Hopefully you're still here. Eight months. Apologies I didn't see that, man. Oh, hey Midas, thank you for the thank you for the resub. Lucky number seven. Lucky number seven, thanks a lot, man. This is like one of the coolest hands I've ever seen. <laughs> Why is the camera centered on his donger? <sighs> oh, we watched it, man. Yeah, Bolo, we watched it. It's really good, yeah. Um, wait, that's it? That can't be it. What? Oh, wait. Oh, uh, the tentacles are coming out of his foot. That sucks that there's skulls in there and the skulls are going to be covered up. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Hey, Suppy. Sup? Suppy. Yo, thanks for the reset. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. I'm trying, like, really, really, really fucking hard. I haven't, like, tried this hard at a hobby since, like, guitar. This is the coolest model I've ever built. It's Guitari. I have no idea. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy. I'm very happy about this. Wriggle and scream, nibble the fingers, and take to the cream. All right, so just to give you guys a comparison, this is this was the biggest model I've ever painted, and now I'm going to this. No, I kind of want to. I kind of want to. I want to, yeah, yeah, Babo. I would like to paint like one, one of each greater demon. Boo, boo, that's a terrible idea. All right, I think we're done, man. That's complete. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the base on him. I'm probably just, I'm probably not even gonna put the base on him, honestly, until after everything's done. I'll probably just hold him and paint him. God, this guy's fucking huge, man. All right. All right, man. Ring the bell, my lord. And with that, build over. We did it. How big is it compared to my head? Uh, what I'll do is, uh, I guess, um, I guess I'll prime this guy tonight. Probably going to let it set for just a little bit longer. I'll prime him. I guess I'll prime him black. Fuck it. And, uh, dry brush everything with a uh, death guard. Death guard green. Maybe darker green. Yeah, actually, I'll prime him uh, dry brush with a darker green first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, guys, I think that's... Uh, man, look at all these parts. Holy fuck. I like to keep all my extra parts so I can practice. So I can practice later. Oh, I guess we still got these little Nurgle guys, man. Uh, I'll get them out later. Yeah, I'll, I'll get them out later. We'll call them Twitch chat. Yep. All right, boys. All right. So, uh, yo, we're going to paint this tomorrow, dude? We gonna paint this tomorrow? I wanna paint this tomorrow, man. I wanna paint this shit, man. Music, music request.
It's gonna hurt. Alright. Alright, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for hanging out today. Um, that's gonna be it for me today. Uh, got this guy done, man. We will be painting him tomorrow. Uh, I'll prime him tonight. I'm gonna prime him. Um, make sure he's good to go for tomorrow. Uh, so, I will be live tomorrow, guys. Uh, probably around this, uh, probably around normal time. Yeah, probably around normal time. We'll probably paint for like four or five hours. Uh, I imagine this guy's going to take like two or three streams. So, that's fine. Uh, anyway, um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. There was a lot of resubs, man. Thank you guys very much for that. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um... I'll see you guys tomorrow around normal time. Uh, thanks again for hanging out. So uh, wherever you are in the world, have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow for the painting of the unclean one. Peace. Is he insane? Strummer and suffering from a lack of kisses! Critical! Thank you. Thank you. Classic. Textbook ending. Classic. Yo, where's Max been, dude? Do not. Let him copy. Uh, are you familiar with the construction of rocket science? FP Pong Sit, a jet time. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, guys, where are we going? Where are we going? Metal of you so much. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to watch Zerv play magic? Um, let's see. Sayori play fourteen. Um, Flora play fourteen. What are you guys in the mood for? Sayori, okay, okay. A Diadaliano, okay, okay. All right. Oh shit, where's my music? All right, guys. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait to paint this fucking thing. Holy shit.